I have banked a lot on a lot of goodwill, a lot of support from people, and you know, um, people who can tell me, "Yeah, bull rena karu types," you know. So I think that is something I'm very happy about that I've earned those people in life. Sometimes you you start designing that this is what is gonna happen, this is how I'm gonna live. So abhi bhi you know so much that we are talking about that we are talking about how we are gonna live. or how we have lived or you know how at least we believe that we have designed so much of life and stuff but the truth is manna bhi to hai agar matlab bhi hai to then the journey is more important than you know the final markers and milestones and destination they'll come along the way but there is this continuous struggle between this you know ego ambition and fear right so anybody who says that i have an ambition but i don't have a fear is lying it's always easy to celebrate the highs it's always easy to celebrate the victories it is very different and very difficult to calibrate the lows so more than the peaks it's the valleys teen mein se basically ek cheez aap karne ki koshish karte ho ye to kisi ne nahi kiya to aap kar lo ye sabko zyada resource lagta hai aap kam resource mein kar lo ya logon ko zyada time lagta hai aap kam time mein kar lo funny thing is pain does not kill entrepreneurs it's a hope that kills them right so uh, how much to hope on you know how much to bank on and for how long there is no right formula for that it's just about what you call trying to be an eagle rather than a pigeon where you flutter less and fly a bit more the idea is you know how do you curtail the flutter to some extent and try to basically get it to some direction so everybody will have different expectations and i think uh, what i would try to rather emphasize is everybody should have different expectations Welcome to yet another episode of the Life Boat. This time, once again, I have an amazing friend, a brother, a powerhouse of an entrepreneur, whose journey is going to inspire you a lot. Let me introduce you to the co-founder of one of the most beloved brands for personal care, M Cafe, Vikas Lachwani. Vikas, along with Tarun and the other co-founders, are the force behind M Cafe, a brand that has become a household name in India, particularly among the younger generation. Despite the brand's success and all its glory, Vikas likes to keep things simple and low key, as you'll find out in this episode. In his beautiful garden outside his villa in Bangalore, on a Sunday afternoon, we spend time discussing a lot of entrepreneurial topics. जो आपके entrepreneurial journey के लिए perfect life boat बन पाएगा. We discuss some key topics like the value of positive networking, the Sulevari Kira called entrepreneurship. the mindset of an entrepreneur as well as an entrepreneur managing hubris and staying grounded dealing with glamour and that too positively kaise aapki team aapki sabse badi life boat hai wo green and red flags hiring ke aur kaise vikas itna sab kuch achieve karne ke baad bhi apni mental sanity ko acche se maintain karta hai aur bahut sari cheeze jo aapko inspire karegi aur motivate karegi hopefully kafi zyada hat tak So sit back and enjoy. Kuch seekhiye, kuch implement kijiye, and keep building one step at a time. Watch, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And let us know what you thought of this episode and what helped you in the comment section. Welcome to the live boat. Let's dive in. So Vikas, bhai, finally, we are doing this. We are doing this. Thanks to you. <laughs> thanks to you. Thanks to you. Thanks to Rashi for inviting me. in this beautiful house of yours on a sunday afternoon evening jo bhi bolo jo bahut kimti waqt hota hai because that's the time you spend with your family you spend with your kids but you choose to give me this time so mere liye bahut bahut gratitude ka sawal aa jata hai ye sab it's all friends and family time it's no different right now so thank you thank you for this so yaar yeah, our relationship goes back i think literally the time when I started Vertices, and you transitioned from the salon business to M Cafe. And today, of course, people know a lot about M Cafe and know a lot about you, Tarun, and the rest of the people. But the purpose of this episode, by, is far lesser of people's immediate achievements and jo news bolo, jo PR bolo, jo general gyan bolo, jo pata rehta hai online ya other uh, madhyam se. 
but the core purpose is to actually talk about things which are not available talk about that person talk about that human being so i recollect and i go back to that day i think indiranagar mein ya kahan pe hum mile the aur aap pitch kar rahe the and coincidentally main ek judging panel mein tha us pitch ka but ek alag sa vibe tha apne ek alag sa एहसास था एक अलग सा इमोशन था एंड विच आई गेस कनेक्टेड बोथ ऑफ अस बिकॉज फॉर मी डी एन ए फैब्रिक ऑल ऑफ दैट मैटर्स द मोस्ट एंड एक बार वो डी एन ए एक बार वो फैब्रिक जब कनेक्ट हो जाता है भाई इट जस्ट बिल्ड ऑन इट यू नो इट कीप्स ट्रांजिशनिंग एंड बिल्डिंग ऑन एंड एक अलग लेवल पर दोस्ती आ जाता है बट लेट्स टेक अ लिटल स्टेप बैक टू वॉट क्रिएट्स दोज डी एन एज वॉट क्रिएट्स दोज वाइब्स वॉट आर दोज फैक्टर्स अबाउट बिकॉज इंसान अपने ज़िंदगी में बहुत सारे पहलू देखता है बहुत सारे सिचुएशंस देखता है एंड अ लॉट ऑफ दोज शेप दैट पर्सन लॉट ऑफ दोज क्रिएट द विकास ऑफ व्हाट विकास इज टुडे सो थोड़ा लेट्स गो बैक टू योर चाइल्डहुड विकास भाई लेट्स गो बैक इवन बिफोर द आई आई टी खरगपुर डेज लेट्स गो बैक टू दैट यंग विकास हु हैड दोज ड्रीम्स एंड एस्पिरेशन विच मे हैव चेंज ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम और ट्विंकल ऑफ द आई आई थिंक तब भी था अब भी है so let's go back to that value let's go back to that thought process and take us in terms of who was vikas as a child aur wo childhood kaisa tha kahan tha kis hisab se tha and how much of those pure binary values as a child that you had how much of those you still continue with and how much of it has shaped the vikas of today see my childhood was a uh, what you call a very classic small town you know like a middle class you know like rising up to the middle class kind of a childhood right and aap subah 5:30 baje uthe chappal pehni khelne chale gaye and then you know parents will find out where you are 9 9:30 ki kuch kha lo types right you know so uh, i think there is a lot of liberty in life that you have as a kid in small towns that you don't even have in big cities doesn't matter you know how protected environment you live in and that kind of thing uh that was a different india back then it was a india of, it was not even a question of have and have nots uh it was a you know question of knows and knows no nots Correct. you know kind of a thing so just to have a times of india in gwalior was like a virtue right because you used to get it next day correct ek din baad aata 80s was very different ha right और नेक्स्ट डे भी पेपर आएगा दैट्स योर विंडो टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज द लोकल पेपर इज वेरी लोकल राइट सो दैट गिव्स यू अ डिफरेंट व्यू कह रहे दुनिया तो बहुत बड़ी है देर इज सो मच इन द वर्ल्ड कुछ तो देखने के लिए है कुछ तो करने के लिए है एंड एंड देन यू हैव दिस फैमिली राइट सो दैट होल्ड माई माई मॉम वॉज अ स्कूल टीचर एंड शी इज लाइक पढ़ो पढ़ो कुछ करेंगे यू नो एंड शी इज बीन अटर्नल लर्नर थ्रू अर लाइफ she's an ma in economics she did her ma when i was in like 10th standard in school wow so you know while she was working and obviously ghar ka to itna sara kaam hota hi hai you know and to a great extent an aberration to a small town culture where generally home mothers were homemakers mothers were homemakers she was one of the rare people who was actually working and then even at that stage she said that i'll do my masters she should as masters uh, and she has not changed she's still like that she learned swimming at the age of 65 beautiful she swims better than me right and she learned it now at the age of 65 and now this year she has started learning uh, hindustani classical music see to bole mere ko ye seekhna hai ab so so that ever aspirational mode ki kuch na kuch karna hai kuch na kuch seekhna hai kuch kuch na kuch karke apne upar ek value add karna hai and have you have fun along the way so that would have also come into you in terms of maybe a genetic quality ha ha ab bol sakte ho i i have fun learning new stuff so uh, that's one fun i have so i'll figure out some i'll get, pick up some script start deciphering it i'll pick up something in statistics i लाइक रीडिंग पोइट्री कुछ ना कुछ नया करने के लिए होता है कीप्स यूर कीप्स यू मेंटली सेन ट्रू तो स्कूल लाइफ कैसा था वो स्कूल लाइफ वॉज फन सो लाइक अ टिपिकल नाइस गुड कॉन्वेंट स्कूल इन अ स्मॉल टाउन वेर 
lot of extracurricular activities that you were exposed to and suddenly in that era so coincidentally all this je and iit fever was just catching on right and us zamane mein thoda waisa rehta tha in a tier to town you simply assumed ki yaar ye je wagera to nahi hoga types right and most people and because je was a so there used to be state exams there used to be national exams so there was a lot of self filtering then and there and stuff right so there was a lot more naivety right there was a lot more innocence that way in terms of you know today like even a 5th 6th 7th standard kid knows ki iit kya hai mereko jana hai ki nahi jana hai but access bhi zyada tha you know the ability to aaj ke date pe agar aap dekho bachcho ko bahut zyada knowledge hai bahut zyada access hai bahut zyada seekh aur samajh hai hamare zamane mein nahi tha nahi tha right bilkul sahi baat just to know that an iit exists for like you know that knows and no nots right you have to know that a iit exists karta hai so that was the world right so wo वो एस्पिरेशन वो चस्का वो थॉट प्रोसेस की यार अब ग्वालियर से उठ के उस कॉन्वेंट स्कूल से उठ के मुझे आई आई टी क्रैक करना है हाउ डज दैट हैपन हाउ डिज दैट हैपन इट्स वेरी सिंपल राइट सो इफ यू गेट अ लोकल न्यूज पेपर इट वॉज लाइक अ एट पेज ब्लैक एंड वाइट न्यूज पेपर यू गेट टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया दैट वॉज ऑल्सो दैट वॉज ट्वेल्व पेज ब्लैक एंड वाइट न्यूज पेपर संडे को चार पेज कलर देखा राइट वो चार पेज दिल्ली से आता था कलर तो समा यू फील कि यार लेट मी सी दैट कलर वर्ल्ड right that was your aspiration right today you can you know put it in so many floral worlds or you know things like that but aap us hisab se soche to dekho somebody who is like 14 15 16 years old trying to see what the rest of the world is and then you give them like a small window kya ye window hai through which you can see something right. and then you say ki what will it take then you start aspiring for it and then you give it a try and then basically you know i seriously believe it you know it takes a lot of you know right things to happen to you as well despite all the efforts and stuff a few right things happened it thoda bahut idhar udhar to kahin aur hote that would have been another beautiful life this was another you know course so it was fun that way log bahut log kehte ki at times of bhai and i was this to several of my friends in this uh, series who are from different iits and ek had tak kafi common answer mujhe mila ki iit is also the biggest equalizer बस क्या होता है आईटी क्रैक करना इज ऑफ कोर्स डिफिकल्ट कहा गया है कि यू हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल मार्जिन पर जब आप जाते हो वहाँ पे जब वो वो द्वार जब खुल जाते हैं एंड यू रीच देयर सडनली यू रियलाइज दैट ऑल द फीलिंग दैट यू हैव दैट यू हैव अचीव यू हैव अराइव्ड और आपने कुछ शायद बना लिया कुछ शायद आपने मचा लिया हकीकत ये होता है कि आपके साथ और चार ऐसे बच्चे हो जो अपने आप को उतना ही तोप समझते हैं एंड सम में बी ग्रेट सम में बी बेटर सम में बी इक्वल सम में नॉट बी बेटर बट इट इज ऑल्सो अ ग्रेट इक्वलाइजर द रीजन आई आस्क दिस भाई बिकॉज दिस दिस एंटायर सीरीज इज अबाउट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ सुपर अचीवर्स लाइक यू डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ माइंड ऑफ सुपर अचीवर्स लाइक यू बिकॉज उसमें से बहुत सारे लर्निंग्स हम निकाल सकते हैं फॉर a whole bunch of our viewers who will typically be in that age group of maybe 24 se leke 36 saal tak jahan pe bahut baar life mein impressionable ages hai bahut baar shayad kuch acche matlab kuch thoda earlier stages mein bhi hai 18 20 ke bachche jo shayad us situation mein hai jahan pe they have entered these places and kuch wo age pe honge where they are trying to do something different trying to do something new maybe that first stage entrepreneur that first step entrepreneur or that first job where they are looking at the promotion to go to the next level there are a lot of learnings from mindsets right so i will dwell into alag alag areas alag alag facets alag alag time phases of your life to try and see ki mindset kaisa tha so going back to this question bhai main to kehta hu isme ek cheez change kari hai bataiye so this idea of achieving right i mean that is very ephemeral right it is so instead of achieving you should rather be looking at people at you know super experiences right correct so it's all about experiences that we are talking bilkul, about bilkul achievement is basically Deekho, unfortunately kya hota hai vikas bhai duniya jo hai thoda sa wo binary ho gaya hai to duniya mein jo tangible hai wo dikhta hai jo dikhta hai wo bikhta hai right now experience without achievement right may not have validation in someone's eyes as much as experience with achievement that's a valid so point. we have to look at balancing both mere liye therefore achievers are people who are real time achievers like yourself jo aake kuch actually banaye hai but fir bhi hum zameen pe baith ke na ye chai peete peete hum baat kar sakte hai so for me that thought process is very important so in this bhai how was life in iit kharagpur was it 
was it a great equalizer for you did it recalibrate your mindset completely give us some experiences some thoughts of how it shaped your character and to what extent maybe some of those you still carry with you oh so basically when you enter iit right and to pehle to you you're all prepped up right kyunki wo aapke saath gaon mein wo dhol bajate hue you know parade karte hue aap aate ho ki saath gaon ka raja main hu type se you know that kind of thing i still remember i think it was the first week of this thing i was in my hostel then you meet new people and you know new kids and sab apne aap ko introduce karte hain to usme se ek banda bula bula i am so and so gave his name aur main lucknow ka topper hu using the city name for just you know you remember it's a long time back and then suddenly this other guy right and uh, he said ki ye sab kya hai na and he used an explicit so aise hi hai kya <laughs> and then you realize ki nahi yaar wo is such a you know small thing and everybody has come from somewhere and everybody would have done something right so suddenly you are a nobody right now your journey starts afresh right and then the funny thing is i still consider it the the whole, whole idea of you know how do you define a journey how do you define that path uh if i were to do that journey again maybe it would be very different i mean at, at least that's what i'm telling my kids right that when you are in college you figure out what kind of experience are people come yeah. with what kind of experiences they are taking because all this idea of career and paths and achievement that will take its own course yeah. right uh and adi has just entered college adi just entered college and uh, he is at a law college thanks to you and in the nothing of mine boss at the end of the day he is a very bright child but yeah so i'm proud that you may managed to make him choose law so i mean again you know a lot of inputs from you for that as well because we don't have a lawyer in the family as yet so so that's what i keep telling them that at least you should look at it very differently than the way i look right aap mehnat karoge that is your thing what will come out of it will be you know an outcome of so many factors and so many people factors are not in your control people to a large extent right uh, if you eliminate the idea of control people will be with you right as long as you take people along you carry people along you go along with people and stuff ultimately you have an ecosystem of people and they'll all work towards something right and then wo kismat rahi to there will be something that will be called an achievement even if it is not called an achievement there should be a happy life at the end of it mehnat karna aapka kaam hai right to work for it is your thing that's what is in your absolute control that is what can be your absolute desire gear mere ko karna hai fir usse kya niklega ab i am not saying it just for being philosophical or anything right uh, what i've seen is the journey is actually very very long how many kids realize when they graduate at the age of 21 or 22 ki abhi 40 saal kaam karna hai degree to 4 saal 5 saal you know that kind of this what is it that you can do that you can sustain for 40 years even if you plan in today's world what do you call you know that fire thing you know Correct. financially independent Correct. that is still a 20 25 year old journey it's not something that you have to do for 20 you know 2 years 4 years 5 years and it's not like a cricket match ke you bowl a beautiful yorker bowl somebody out and you know the game is done it's like a perpetual thing right it's Correct. it's more of a collaborative uh, perpetual game rather than like a instant 5 minute कॉम्पेटिव काइंड ऑफ मैच और लाइक लाइक यू नो लाइक यू आर मेकिंग अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट जो बहुत लोग अंडर एस्टिमेट करते हैं द पावर ऑफ वॉट यू जस्ट सेड दर इज अ कोलेबोरेटिव परपेचुअल मैच और अ कोलेबोरेटिव लॉन्ग टर्म मैराथन ये जो कोलेबोरेशन है भाई इट इज वेरी अंडरस्टेटेड वेरी अंडर एस्टिमेटेड बिकॉज कोलेबोरेशन टू माई माइंड टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंट इज अबाउट सोशल फैब्रिक सोशल कनेक्ट फैमिली कनेक्ट सो डज early college life also go across an outline of value because kafi sare cheeze jo insaan apna dna mein banata hai aage ja ke wo bahut had tak usko help kar sakta hai why i ask this bhai as i said lot of our viewers can take back some learnings from here to say that if we do x y z maybe there are certain deltas in life or certain springboards of life that can come in how important is it to understand the value of positive networking when i say positive networking bhai that and in college you have that advantage in school and college it is always binary it's agenda hin 
जैसे आप बड़े जाते होते जाते हो एक अनफॉर्चुनेटली नेटवर्किंग का एसेंस इज ऑल अबाउट एजेंडा कि भाई किसको किससे क्या फायदा है किसको किसको किससे क्या मे बी काम सिचुएशन बेनिफिट अलग तरीके से निकाल सकते हो बट कॉलेज स्कूल में ऐसा नहीं है कॉलेज स्कूल में इट्स वेरी बाइनरी टू से दैट येस जमता है तो हम बातें करेंगे okay. नहीं जमता है तो अपन बातें नहीं करेंगे बट दैट फैब्रिक ऑफ ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट नेटवर्क डिस्कस विथ पीपल टेक्स यू टू मे बी टू अ डिफरेंट लेवल एज यू ग्रो so can you emphasize a bit about that also and go a little granular in that so it's very simple right i mean uh, not every day is a great day not every time is a great time for all so many reasons right personal professional health family this that whatever weather whatever anything right ultimately it comes down to some people where you pick up the phone and say ki mere ko keval baat karna hai sahi baat theek hai that's the final long and short of it right now you talk in any completely a different sphere when you were talking about the professional networking so you have to establish right first you have, you have to establish a time is time baat karenge this will be the agenda this is what i have to offer this is what i want in return theek hai this is what you do for your livelihood and stuff right but that is basically on the upper side of life when Same everything way. is positive but all the other things right आप जब किसी को कॉल करते हो रात को 12 बजे कि यार मेरे को टाइम चाहिए आधा घंटा बात करना है तो आप उसकी नेटवर्क पूछ के तो कॉल बिल्कुल भी नहीं आप उसका एजुकेशन क्वालिफिकेशन तो पूछ के कॉल नहीं करते आप उसका बेसिकली डेजिग्नेशन पूछ के तो कॉल नहीं करते बट वो रात को साढ़े बारह बजे भी आप उसे तभी बात कर सकते हैं इफ यू अर्न द टाइम फ्रॉम दैट पर्सन राइट वेर विल दैट टाइम कम फ्रॉम दैट विल नॉट कम फ्रॉम एनी ट्रांजेक्शन बिकॉज एनी बडी हु basically you've already filtered out because you don't want to talk to anybody trans- transactional right so in this entire journey ultimately you have to you know collect those friends right and the closer they are the better they understand you the better they understand your your family system your social system your professional system the easier our life is these friends could be people who just simply don't understand your professional systems they cannot advise you if they are closer to you to your professional system they'll be able to advise you on that as well yeah. if they are closer to your family you have allowed them to come closer to you you have allowed them to come closer to your family you have gone closer to their family they'll be able to advise accordingly socially aap dekh lo right ultimately we are all growing up and our social network expand with our kids right i mean yeah. kids their friends their parents their so ultimately it all expands so wo ecosystem to is very very necessary right what is the point of having a professional achievement without any social fabric then whom do you reach out to and for what right ultimately banega to pura pyramid hi banega right you can't just have a hollow base and you know build on top of it so that is very very important because i think that keeps you sane healthy and that keeps you happy right? and and grounded and grounded and grounded the start and the beginning of formation of life board i think starts from there starts from absolutely because the definition of life boards are a lot about what can keep you grounded and a lot of it goes into that that's why you call your school friends till today right so irrespective of you know whichever way they would have gone in life and you would have gone in life you know and there would be friends whom you would call super achievers and you know you would be like a non achiever in front of them and vice versa and stuff and it does not matter when you talk to them because वही है ना बिकॉज इज बाइनरी ना भाई यू पिक अप फ्रॉम वे यू लेफ्ट करेक्ट बहुत बार होता है कि एंड अगेन आई कंसिडर इट वेरी फॉर्चुनेट बिकॉज इट्स द रेयरेस्ट ऑफ द रेयर ओकेशन भाई जहाँ पे रिलेशनशिप स्टार्ट एट द प्रोफेशनल लेवल एंड लैंड अप टू वेयर वे वी आर टूडे राइट बिकॉज वो होता नहीं आसानी से आई स्टिल रिमेंबर हम कभी रैंडमली आई थिंक रात के एक दो बजे बात कर रहे थे विदाउट एनी एजेंडा कि यार जस्ट बात करना था राइट आई थिंक दैट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल वे थिंग्स इवॉल्व पर ये बताओ a lot of kids have also seen a lot of uh, situations where people go abroad hmm. and then from them to come back to india is a very difficult decision you know abroad ka mindset working education is very different you had the benefit of going to a fantastic university for your future studies you went to i think uh, wisconsin yeah then you went to luba you worked also in us again another ss of you know life boat i i can outline is to a great extent you and rashi met each other in iit mm. and there onwards also you had the chance of you know 
so, so, if I may say, studying in similar places, working in similar places. But for a lot of people who may be in that dilemma, कि भाई हमें बाहर जाके पढ़ना है, या फिर बाहर पढ़ के वापस देश में क्यों आना है, वो mindset कैसा होता है? How is studying outside, and also all the more for people like us who came from literally the have not versus the no not background, जहाँ पे scholarship के बिना कुछ हो नहीं पाता. How was that journey? How did that journey happen to a young boy from Gwalior who went to Kharagpur from Kharagpur to go to Wisconsin? How did that happen? Tell us about US at that point of time because uh, US in you know late 90s was very very different. And uh, today, when you think back and when you look back, what was that calling that came in to say, "Nee, yar, ab India ja ke kuch kuch banana hai." We'll come to Music Ma. We'll come to your first uh, entrepreneurship in a lot of detail, mm. but let's first start with the mindset of going abroad, the experiences of US, and what do you draw out from there? You always went to US to come back, right? How did you know that? So, uh, for some reason, so I'll tell you the plan and how why that plan did not work out. So we went to US thinking that two years, two years masters, we will finish, work for two years, go back. and then we realized ki once you get into a system then you get you know then you start flowing with the system aapne wo you finished your masters and everything then you start on your phd and everything phd start ho gaya fir yaar kaam to kuch time karna tha to kuch time kaam karna start kar lete the in fact we started working while we finished most of the phd work but the phd was still on hmm. uh, by the way i finally dropped out from my phd rashi did finish her phd she is a doctor so we stayed there for Roughly give or take seven years or something, but we had a very interesting interaction over there. So in our university, there was this huge concrete sculpture, right? And that, it must be like a twenty feet tall concrete sculpture. And coincidentally, we saw that the sculptor was Mr. Patel. It was an Indian name, so we were like very amazed. Okay, the American university, my regiment, a huge sculpture. So coincidentally, one day we were lucky to meet. Mr. Patel. Okay, and so he was a sculptor, and he used to live there, and his wife, and he was very, very senior to us. If I remember correctly, they must be in their seventies. So Mr. and Mrs. Patel. फिर वहाँ पे our son was really young that time, एक दो साल का होगा. I'm very bad with time references and stuff, so things can be off here a bit, but I'll tell you the story. So then uh, we used to go to their home, and they had a lot of toys because they had grandkids, and so Adi used to play, and they used to have fun. We sat down with them. So Mrs. Patel, she was telling her story that when they went to US, there were no direct flights; they had to go by ship and then take a flight from UK, and you know all that stuff. And when she came to US, it was like a very different US because it was not like a global composite us that we see today or that we were seeing in early 2000 she came when us was us and you know people used to come out they had very different cultures and stuff she said at one point of time i decided ki if i am living here i live like a american or i'll go back and i chose to stay here i started living like an american and then the biggest thing that helped was my kids were happier because otherwise that whole idea of right. you know the confused desi kids ha, right that ha, ha. whether you know abcd you, types abcd right ha. so you know do you bring them up with indian ethos or american ethos or you know these are ways of life bilkul sahi baat hai so she simply said if you're saying that you want to go then you simply go back otherwise you simply stay here be like this and you know stay here and live like this this is also fine nothing wrong in it usually what we do is you know when we talk about staying back or coming back We give a perspective of good or ah, bad, correct, or, you know. Correct. But she was like, you know, clarity is good. You want to stay here, you stay here. You want to go back, you go back. And uh, uh, by that time, we had started working. So when we started working, first thing uh, we wanted to do was, "Okay, let's go to India." But first, let's talk about college life. How did you crack that college? Uh, U.S. University. Yes. Oh, so that time she she didn't crack that college. 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 She didn't So we had this thing, right? So me and my wife, we wanted to go to the same university. So what we did was we applied to ten different universities, and usually it's very difficult for two students from the same university to get an admission in the right. place. So she actually applied to a different program. I applied to a different program, same universities, and obviously, अपने पास तो पैसा भी नहीं था, right? 
it was not just about getting an admission we had to get scholarships and then basically stipends or assistantships to survive so we managed to get it some place together and we landed that together and kaisa tha experience kaisa tha it was a good experience see there are few things that they do really really well right for example that uh, you know higher studies in us i mean they've built a lot of depth in their work mm. overall that's something they have done and i think we have we are getting better at that but still there is a lot more to do i mean there's a reason that they built up that ecosystem and stuff so it was a beautiful experience that place right but hopefully maybe in india maybe there is a lot maybe uh, more that is coming I'm up sure. and so i think pichle 20 saal mein bahut sara kuch cover bhi hua hai at least uh, i've not gone to the us ever since i've come back but i don't hear that wow stories that that we used to see that time right us gay and you know suddenly are exposed yeah. to this is a different world oh wow i see a car right yeah. which has an automatic gearbox and you know doors that yeah. open by yeah. themselves i mean by god's grace today we have sab kuch hai sab kuch hai to i don't think people are that amazed yeah. when they go to enamored pehle wo enamored the essence of getting enamored was much higher hai sahi baat hai to bhai jab ye decision clarity ho gaya ki wapas aana hai hai na and that is where i think you had the first stint of working with because us time pe agar aap dekho this was i think you're looking at you your the year that you came back was about so we came back on 2010 early 2010 so 10 11 mein the initiation of the so called industry of new age business was starting venture capital to tab tha hi nahi private equity shuru hua tha the sudden thought process of saying ki ha ab na wo old school brick and mortar जनरेशन ओरिएंटेड धंधे जो है उसको छोड़ के कुछ लोग फर्स्ट जनरेशन धंधा भी बना सकते हैं कुछ अलग टाइप के धंधे भी बना सकते हैं तो भाई वहाँ से शुरू हुआ आपका जगदोजहद इन टर्म्स ऑफ वर्किंग द वर्क लाइफ स्टार्ट्स यू वर्क विद अ कंपनी वेयर पर हैप्स यू गेट द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट अ न्यू एज बिजनेस इज लाइक आई नो दैट यू आर अ पार्ट ऑफ म्यूजिक माई इन यू एस दैट मे हैव ऑल्सो ट्रिगर्ड द फैक्ट कि यार एक वो सुलेमानी कीड़ा है हम में एंड आई कीप सेंग दिस बार बार की ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप हमारा जो है वो सुलेमानी की रहा है है तो सोने नहीं देगा <laughs> नहीं है तो जागने नहीं देगा तो भाई वॉट ट्रिगर्ड दैट टू से कि अब म्यू सिगमा से वापस देश आना है द मोहन भार्गव फीलिंग हाउ एंड वेन डिड यू ऑल डिसाइड कि अब शायद ये टाइम हो गया है कि अब वापस देश चलते हैं एंड ऑल्सो द माइंड सेट आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द माइंड सेट टू से दैट वेन वेन समन सेस कि आई एम इन अ सच अ comfortable zone right i am in such a such a beautiful position i am i am i'm things are sorted there is a child who's born um, life is comfortable and then that ability to say ab na ye chhod ke hum aag mein koodenge to sanga was started i think post that only when you came in so what's the mind like what's the thought like to say now you know this is the moment to take a jump so bhai why i ask this is because kafi hamare darshak honge a lot of our viewers are Dilly dallying in that conundrum, ki yar should I jump? Should I do this? Should I leave that safety net? Should I forget that salary, that downside protection? Say, ab jaake banana hai, ab jaake kuch create karna hai. So what is the mindset? Take us through because there are two aspects for you, bhai. Leaving the states and coming back back to India itself is one mindset which has a lot of thoughts around it, and then coming back not to a job, but to start. So see sometimes right. Sometimes you need a lot of stars to align for some things to happen. So basically, we we decided that we are going to go back to India, and we are going to start something. Hmm. A fight, marna chalu. Rashi and you together. Yeah, both of us together. We made a business plan. We found an investor back in the US. So let's take. I'll give you some seed money. Usse in paisa bhot chota hota tha in today's terms. Correct. But it was like money, money, right? Pesa mil mil na is like huge thing. Ah, yeah. so then we that's the first validation, na, bhai. Then we raised some money, right? So that assurance of little bit of money was there. But just as you said, na, that ultimately the time has to strike, right? That today you give up everything and things like that. Then basically something, you know, happened, right? So somebody in the family was terminally ill. Okay, right. so we were like ki ek bar to india jana hai and then we have to visit you know the last time and you know ek visit bhi karna hai then suddenly what happened was uh, i got a job offer from somewhere hmm. 
and they simply offered practically at least verbally what they said was 2x or whatever i was getting in the us in the us so that's a lot of money that's a lot of money so that cycle started bole ab kya kare wo tag le lete hain resume mein dal lete hain you know stay there for some more time so then so i somehow believe in people so called up one of my old friends one of my only wingies from it wing is basically a hostel wing ha uh, 12 to 15 log rehte hain ek wing mein to usko main phone lagaya first first essence of life board in college is the wings for iits to wo phone pe dena chalu kiya gali bole main har saal sun raha hu bole desh ja raha hu desh ja raha hu desh ja raha hu tumhara wo jana khatam nahi hota hai abhi fir to main naya cheez leke aa gaya hu ke bole main ye tag le lena 6 mahine jana hai to jao nahi jana mat jao but what i'm saying is ki jao khatam karo and then so sometimes you need that kind of clarity when people tell you that ke bol raha hu right wo dhakka ha the dhakka is important so then coincidentally uh, so like yaar ye baat sahi hai bahut hua let's go and i think from that day i don't know whether it was the 15th day or 16th day we were in india okay and we came back to india we visited that family member and see sometimes god is very kind right we reached there in the night morning it was the last breath right so that is like an amazing grace right ki theek hai the world you know stood still for you so sometimes you know things conspire together to take you in a direction and you say ke chalo whatever courage i was missing you know the stars put that courage in you through something or you know and they they put you on that path as well ki chalo this is the time for you right right so uske aap socho na sab kuch lagega aapko stars bhi lagenge aapko koi ek you know personal friend bhi lagega and then basically some you know uh, something positive and is sab mein unfortunately the funniest part is all you have is a will to go on that path otherwise aapka role bada limited rehta hai right story telling is very easy ki nahi nahi i was absolutely determined and i'll do it this time i maine ek bar soch liya to fir main salman khan tai fir main apne aap ke bhi nahi sunta but in real life at least for me you know maybe you know most people would be way stronger than me but i think i have banked a lot on a lot of goodwill a lot of support from people and you know um, people who can tell me ki yaar bol rahe na karo types you know so i think that is something i'm very happy about that i've earned those people in life Uh, that way and people people matter people, people matter i ask this simply for the reason that and action so bhai what is the mindset of an entrepreneur let's start with rusanga tell us about it tell us about when you realize ki yaar ab na khud karenge but that journey is also very tough bhai it teaches you a lot to do but also equally importantly teaches you a lot of what not to do right i personally believe you have to unlearn much more than learn in that journey right and the more malleable you are to unlearning perhaps the more sustainable your venture and more sustainable your journey is going to be सो थोड़ा सा लेट्स गो थ्रू द माइंड सेट ऑफ एन ऑन्ट्रप्रन आर लॉट फॉर दिस बिकॉज काफ़ी सारे हमारे व्यूअर्स होंगे जो यंग्स फाउंडर्स होंगे जो इनिशियल फर्स्ट लेवल फाउंडर्स होंगे फर्स्ट स्टेज फाउंडर्स होंगे पहली बार शायद वो लोग कुछ कर रहे हैं एंड आई एम श्योर दे विल लर्न अ लॉट फ्रॉम सम वन टू से दैट एंड ऑफकोर्स यू हैव सीन मल्टीपल स्टेजेज ऑफ ऑन्ट्रप्रनरशिप मल्टीपल लेवल्स ऑफ ऑन्ट्रप्रनरशिप बट लेट्स गो टू दैट फर्स्ट आइडिया एंड दैट फर्स्ट वेंचर वॉट डिड यू लर्न more importantly what are the things that you learned not to do that you have followed on in your life especially as you're building m caffeine and hyphen so let me take you one step back i'll tell you a story of another friend i love to hear so when i reached us right and so i became very close friends with a fellow american i mean let's call him j right uh I used to be 23, 24. He was about 32, so about eight years senior to me in life. Uh, very kind to me, very generous, right? मिले कैसे? University. Okay. So he was in the same program. So coincidentally, in the US, right? I mean, 
जैसे अपन इंडिया में पढ़ते हैं कि वो बारहवीं पास कर लिए तो कॉलेज चले जाएंगे बैचलर्स कर लिए तो मास्टर्स कर लेंगे वैसा नहीं होता वहाँ पे जेनुअनली मिड करियर एनहेंसमेंट होता है हाँ तो अलग अलग एज के लोग होते हैं सो ही वॉज एक्चुअली रनिंग अ रेस्टोरेंट फॉर एट ईयर्स एज अ मैनेजर वाओ ओके राइट एंड ही चोज टू कम बैक एंड स्टडी ही वॉज मैरिड हैड वन किड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड सो ही स्टार्टेड स्टडिंग एंड लाइक मी आई वॉज एक्चुअली परस्यूइंग लाइक अ ड्यूअल डिग्री साइमल्टेनियसली He was pursuing a couple of courses simultaneously. Uh, I was not married then. He was married. He had a kid. Then uh, he had one of the bigger scholarships in the university. So academically, he was there on top. He got an internship with the biggest real estate firm in the entire state. Add to that, he had this old, what do you call a real estate renovation company that he uh, revived. at that point of time so he started running that as well to mere liye to it was like a complete unimaginable kind of a thing because in india this is what you are taught aap college jao paisa ghar se aa jayega khana aapko mess mein mil jayega right correct aapka curriculum bhi basically bana ke de denge aapko ek schedule bhi bana ke de denge ki this is a two year course aapko do saal mein pass karna hai char saal mein whatever it is so he was doing so many things simultaneously and i think within some time they were expecting the second child as well then basically they went ahead and you know uh, bought a house as well and this is uh, i don't know you need a little bit of context to it the housing crisis in 2000 it was in 2008 and this was around 2005 so housing crisis happened because all that was happening in 2005 real estate had extremely inflated prices sub prime mortgages and things like that he bought a house as well and you know and he was renovating his own house and you know he because he was into real estate you know you know renovation and stuff he bought a property that needed renovation because that he could buy it at a very affordable price and things like that now one fine day and there was so much going on in his life and and the he was a very close friend so i was privy and coincidentally his uh, wife uh, is still a very dear friend so in fact i'll just take a digression that you know when we got to know that we are expecting uh, uh, we called them up at like 8 in the night that we just want to come and meet you and like okay come and 8 pm is generally very late for americans they have their food at 5 5:30 and that's like a sleeping time and stuff if we go there and both him and his wife they are standing there and you know ready to hug me and my wife is like in I'm like I haven't told you. Like we understand, right? So, and I think a little bit of age and experience and friendship, you know, the people can sense. So then, you know, while he was, you know, he bought this house, he was renovating and all that. In that process, the porch of his house fell, and then suddenly there was this complete radio silence from him for let's say a couple of months. And I understood and learned that, you know, there was. uh something between the couple and you know they were somehow realized that they were not able to manage all that was going on in life right kept on reaching out to him kept on talking to him finally after couple of months got back together and he said that you know i think i picked up way too many things for myself on my plate so let me define it better went back to his wife uh got her back you know curtailed a few things and you know started building things again and by this time they had two kids right so he got everything back on track uh, by this time i went on to phd and then to the job as well so i went and drove back again and by this time he had become a real estate developer so he had this huge uh, So in US you have this lot of lofts, right, which are based out of old industrial buildings, which are considered, you know, reconverted into residential. And because he was into urban planning, big incentives from government. So there's a, you know, like a renovating the city as well and stuff. And he was doing good real estate stuff by that time. He had some friends along who were his partners, but then you know there was something between the partners that they had did not have, like a complete. Uh, sync up into the whole thing so he was trying to figure that out and stuff and by this time you know then i came back to india i came back to india and i was following so his real estate stuff was going well uh, 
दोज पार्टनर थिंग सॉर्टेड आउट मैनेज टू यू नो ब्रिंग दैट बैक अगेन एज वेल देन वन फाइन डे आई गॉट एन ई मेल फ्रॉम हिम दैट ही इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम कैंसर सम वेरी इलेबोरेट नॉन हॉच किन समथिंग समथिंग एंड यू नो एंड ऑब्वियसली वॉज अ क्लोज फ्रेंड सो गिव मी अ लिटल बिट ऑफ डिस्ट्रेस सो आई कॉल्ड एम अप and now the internet telephone is very easy that time you have to put little bit of mm. effort in that but so we talked and he's like no 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 worry i'll survive and he actually survived came out of that and he went through whatever processes and chemo and everything then basically i uh, there was again a radio silence for some time then heard back from him again this time he said that you know what me and my wife we are in panama i am writing a book about life mm. and send some pictures this time he's all covered in tattoos and you know the the look is different and you know that from being like a super savvy real estate professional that you would you know think about like oiled hair and mm-hmm. you know the double breasted suit mm-hmm. and this time he's like a hippie with you know all that and stuff next time i heard from him uh, he wrote that his uh, cancer has come back and then there was this long radio silence for 2 years right long radio silence for 2 years so then again tried to reach out to him and then basically i discovered on social media that he actually passed away and what hit me most was that he passed away a couple of years back so i tried connecting to the family and friends and you know like what happened and somehow because all that was going on i you know made up rational in my head that as to you know what would have happened typically that cancer would have been the reason but then i discovered that he passed away that while going to his hometown and he was like maybe a few hundred meters or half a kilometer away from his house house he died in a road accident right all the way away from his workplace and his living place in his hometown and then they it gave me the thought ke marna bhi to hai right you can plan all the reasons and sometimes you you start designing that this is what is going to happen this is how i'm going to live so abhi bhi you know so much that we are talking about that we are talking about how we are going to live mm. or how we have lived or you know how at least we believe that we have designed so much of life and stuff but the truth is marna bhi to hai agar marna bhi hai to then the journey is more important than you know the final markers and milestones and destination they'll come along the way correct so this journey i mean what is in our control we do whatever is it that we are trying to do with the right intentions with the right people with the right intentions for the right people baki sab to apne aap hota jayega right some things will happen some things will not happen intent is there right so for example so let's take why do we do things right we do things because we have ambitions why do we have ambitions we have ambitions because we have a certain amount of ego right and this happens to everybody that i am so and so right because i have an identity that i need to do so much or you know i need to do so much more than somebody else or i need to do something that people have not done before or this is something i need to you know put against my name and so on now the funny thing is any time you have an ego you have an ambition ego breeds fear yeah. right but there is this continuous struggle between this you know ego ambition and fear right so anybody who says that i have an ambition but i don't have a fear is lying because otherwise there would be no paranoid you know professionals and things like that right so it's all a struggle between the three right the question is at least the way i see it is what is the biggest ambition you can have while keeping your ego in check which will keep your fears in check which will keep you know your ambition intact right so that is why if you try to push any of these further so for example if your if your ego supersedes basically it will take away all your work towards the ambition if your ambition basically supersedes it will breed a lot of fear if you you know if you are uh, basically fear supersedes you then basically anyways it will not let you do anything so it's just a balancing act the more balanced you can be along the way i'm not saying that i am balanced but at least this is the way i see the chess i agree board. and i think a lot of this also comes with maturity right a lot of this comes with age a lot of this comes with the journey that one passes through aaj ye kehna bhai ki you have to balance things out aaj ye kehna ki journey matters the most as against the destination 
ये जब इंसान शुरू करता है ये सोचता नहीं है बिकॉज एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द माइंड सेट इज नेवर अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ जर्नी इट इज नेवर अबाउट यू नो सेलिब्रेटिंग द स्मॉल माइल स्टोन द स्मॉल विन्स बिकॉज हर एक छोटा जीत जो है वो हर एक स्मॉल विक्ट्री मैटर्स द मोस्ट बिकॉज नॉट फॉर जस्ट योर ओन मेंटल सैनिटी बट ऑल्सो फॉर द फैक्ट दैट एंड ऑफ द डे भाई दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी लॉन्ग मैराथन है ना बट एज आई सेड अ लॉट ऑफ दिस कम्स विथ मेच्योरिटी पर्पज ऑफ दिस एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्स देर फोर इज टू ऑल्सो मेक पीपल अंडरस्टैंड वॉट पर हैप्स एज हैज टॉट अस एंड वी आर एबल टू गो अक्रॉस एंड डिस्क्राइब दैट बट गेट आर नॉस्टैल्जिक टू वेन यू स्टार्ट इथ द जर्नी है ना भाई एंड भाई इफ यू हैव टू टेक अस बैक टू दोज थ्रोसांगा डेज टेक अस बैक टू दैट फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ ऑन्ट्रप्रनरशिप उस टाइम पे इंसान का माइंडसेट क्या होना चाहिए हाउ डज वन नो दैट यार ये तो बहुत जगदोजहद वाला जर्नी है सुपर लोनली जर्नी है सुपर प्रॉब्लमैटिक जर्नी है सुपर क्रेजी जर्नी है बहुत बार लोज आएंगे हाइज के बारे में बात नहीं करूँगा हाइज इज़ वेरी ईजी इट्स ऑलवेज ईजी टू सेलिब्रेट द हाइज इट्स ऑलवेज ईजी टू सेलिब्रेट द विक्ट्रीज इट इज़ वेरी डिफरेंट एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कैलिब्रेट द लोज सो मोर देन द पीक्स इट्स द वैलीज है ना भाई सो so, जो इमोशनल मैनेजमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ दोज लोज होते हैं टेक अस थ्रू अ माइंड सेट ऑफ द फाउंडर फिटमेंट देर फाउंडर का माइंड सेट उसके बारे में क्या होता है टेक अस टू योर फर्स्ट जर्नी सो अल्टीमेटली एज अ फाउंडर वॉट इज इट दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू इज द थिंग्स दैट हैव नॉट बीन डन बिफोर और इफ दे हैव बीन डन दे हैव नॉट बीन इन द टाइम फ्रेम दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू डू even if they have been done in that time frame they have been done with more resources and you are trying to do them with lesser teen mein se basically ek cheez aap karne ki koshish karte ho ya to kisi ne nahi kiya ho to aap kar lo ya sabko zyada resource lagta hai aap kam resource mein kar lo ya logon ko zyada time lagta hai aap kam time mein kar lo now this entire curtailing of either the time or resources or creating something that does not exist right this will come with a lot of pain in some way it will come with a lot of pain or it will come with a lot of uncertainty along the way right i think people don't worry about what you call uh, difficulties as much kyunki ye to maan ke hi chalta hai aadmi ki yaar difficulty aayegi uh, it's a journey between that uncertainty and hope which is very 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 what you call Which is the actual real deal, right? वही deal है भाई, वही चीज़ है. So how do you how do you live through those uncertain times, or how do you live through those, uh, you know that that hope? And funny thing is, pain does not kill entrepreneurs. There's a hope that kills them, right? So uh, how much to hope on, you know, how much to bank on, and for how long? There's no right formula for that, right? A If I go back in time, maybe I should have used people even more, right? So, so by the way, I mean uh, you know it, and lot of people know it. But we had to shut down Trusanga, right? But even when I shut down Trusanga, I called up one of my friends, and he's like, you know, ya dekho, aisa aisa hai. Next, so his first reaction was, ki yar, dekhte hain apn, you know, can we figure out another, you know, some time, and you know, and then he said, hold on. If you are saying this right, then the right time to shut it down was six months back. Because anyways, you would have stretched it a lot more. So you need such people. You need such people to you know um, to be with you and you know think along with you and stuff, right? So us me aate hain. Sab achhe moments bhi aate hain. Sab tough moments bhi aate hain. But achhe aur tough moments me itni dikkat nahi hoti. Itni uncertain moments me hote, right? So for example. Uh, it's at hope that something will work out which takes forever yeah but you know it does not yield and you know those kind of things those are very difficult but there is no way to prep for them and the other thing is i don't think that there is any formula that i can give or something that i can suggest that increases the chances of success or that reduces the pain that people will go through the only thing i can tell people is that in that journey what are the resources that you can carry along and my fundamental resources are people that whenever that you need that right advice correct they'll be able to whether it is advice or support or anything you know, 
right or just that hearing time for 10 minutes even the ranting shoulder yeah so that should be there with you बिकॉज ऐसा ऐसा जर्नी हो नहीं सकता जो आपको प्री प्लान करके दे दे इफ दैट इज द केस देन बेसिकली अगेन यू नो देर आर जॉब्स इन एवरी कंपनीज विच यू कैन जॉइन बिकॉज समबडी एल्स हैज अब्जॉर्ब अनसर्टेनिटीज फॉर यू एंड क्रिएटेड अ लिटिल बट मोर सर्टनिटी सम सर्टनिटी इन दैट थिंग सो नॉट दैट आई कैन ईज इट फॉर एनी बडी नॉट आई कैन गिव अ फॉर्मूला फॉर इंक्रीज द चांसिस ऑफ सक्सेस बट वट आई कैन से इज दैट यू नो येस आई मीन इफ इफ यू ट्राई विद दिस अप्रोच एटलीस्ट there will be some some phases that you could give up that people will not let you give up some phases that you would be like you know what you call extremely exuberant and you know super positivist and people can caution you and think about it again it's not like this and those are the you know some sabse important isme wahi cheez aake ubhar ke aata hai har baar ki it's finally what is life boat life boat is this entire bunch of relationships that can be springboards when required and that can be anchors when required so they can save you from drowning and they can also be the wind to make you fly absolutely so this wings to make you fly is very important na because there have to be people who are thinking about you as to what is it that can be the wind beneath your wings right so uh, see the other challenge is when you are talking about entrepreneurs right you know uh, how much ambition is a good ambition the truth is no ambition is good enough why not more than that and uh, so this is another misconception that a lot lot of people have that you know whenever you talk to some senior folks about and this is when i reach out to when they talk about equanimity or you know having a yeah. balance and things like that then a lot of times it's perceived that you know curtailing the ambition yeah. or doing lesser than no 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 it's about if you were trying to achieve you know let's say a, whatever 100% first okay. you can still aim for 110 or 120% uh, it's just about what you call trying to be an eagle rather than a pigeon where you flutter less and fly a bit more the idea is you know how do you curtail the flutter to some extent and try to basically get it to some direction right uh, so that it's not a purposeless fluttering in that journey because that that brings in a lot of what you call it comes at a cost lot of cost right energy and you know focus and the first thing that that you lose at that point of time is focus yeah negative bandwidth correct so that focus can be to aim higher right and generally uh, this is the notion that any time you tell somebody that nee nee let's think about it in a more you know like a systematic way or you know like a sensible way and stuff and the first thing is you know are we cutting down on what we were trying to no 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 let's enhance it why not enhance it right but then you're talking about you know uh, doing it a bit more sustainably you know in a bit more sensibly absolutely yes that's the way to do it more you cannot have like a 40 km sprint it's a marathon it's a marathon to ye batao there was another beautiful episode in your life because you come with that unique experience ki aapne shuru bhi kiya dhanda aapne failure bhi dekha the ek wo ek wo entrepreneur ka ek ego entrepreneur ka ek you know that uh, separation anxiety boliye the so called mindset to say yaar i should have the maturity to know that this is not the time anymore to continue with this jo hum abhi thodi der pehle baat kar rahe the ventilator moment and when to pull the plug and then you had the benefit of also working as a kmp in a large startup before you went ahead and built the current startup that you are a part of which we will talk much more in detail later द रीजन आई आज दिस भाई इज बिकॉज जूमकार के डेज में आपने काफी कुछ किया अगेन वॉट कैन बी ड्रॉन आउट फ्रॉम हियर वॉट कैन बी एक्सटेपुलेटेड फ्रॉम हियर फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ आर ऑडियंस एंड आर व्यूअर्स इज कि अ पर्सन कैन लर्न सो मच इन के एम पी रोल्स वेर इट विल एड वैल्यू नॉट जस्ट इंडिविजुअली टू अ पर्सन but it'll also add value perhaps in future when you're building something hai na bhai very few people and kafi sare hamare aise dost honge kafi sare hamare aise darshak honge jo ab wo zone mein hai that they might be entering into that entrepreneurial role they might be just being selected for an l1 or l2 role they might be thinking ki yaar is founder ke sath kaam karke ye seekh milega how is mindset when you handle a vertical within a large brand how does that set up and create that further essence of your mindset to say yahan se i can take 10 other things and build 
parallel to that bhai how difficult is it again to get into that comfort zone and say up to yaar it's like a entrepreneurial role i'm almost a pseudo entrepreneur within an existing organization which is hopefully pretty large i'm comfortable kaun ja ke wapas wo jagdo jahar mein jayega wapas ho raha tha jo pehle usko sametega so take us through the mindset of an entrepreneur because you have the advantage of doing that if you are an entrepreneur right the first thing that you need to start with is some level of gratitude right and uh see there is somebody who's absorbing a lot of uncertainty and you know who actually is built some stage over which you can build and you know you should cherish that opportunity and say uh, fortunately or unfortunately a lot of things happen for the first time in life correct so basically what happens is the appreciation of that platform is very very important and a lot of times i i think people under appreciate that and then uh, so if somebody has built that platform over which you are building so you should acknowledge and then basically you should go in with full force that if basically a lot of that let's say 80% of uncertainty is being absorbed by somebody else what is it that i can build on top of it that's a good playground where you but bhai isme ek question hai mera ha is it ki aapke mind mein ya fir aapke zehen mein ye jo krithartpan hai the gratitude that you're talking about did it come because you went through a journey of entrepreneurship on yourself and therefore you knew i keep saying this bhai but once you become an entrepreneur you get a lifetime membership to a club called the empathy club right right <laughs> now everything that you took for granted you stop taking for granted so is it bhai ki a lot of this gratitude that you're talking about came easily to you to appreciate at a platform because you tried to build something versus a lot of people who start with a platform and therefore it's easier for them to try and take for granted as against appreciate what someone's built and therefore life is a little bit of or there's a little bit of certainty and trajectory for those people itna to hota hi hai na if you if you fail in a few things right then you understand that there are so many things in life which may or may not work right so even this zoom thing happened and i'll tell you the serendipity of it i actually uh, had come from that time i used to live in pune and i had come to bangalore and because i wanted to do some deal over here and then coincidentally that did not work out and i was free early in the day so i called up a friend of mine ki today i am khali let's meet up and he said no no what today is my third first day of the job at a startup i just joined this new startup called zoomkar but uh, in that time the office used to be near uh, infantry road which year was this this was 2015 okay right to mai bola theek hai i am nearby to itna to milte hai and uh, that friend of mine he is a smoker bola theek hai tere sath chote pe lunga do and uh, so i went there met him he came from the office and you know and uh, he smoked we ate a couple of sandwiches at safina plaza and then jaate jaate bola ki yaar chal ek bar jaate aate फाउंडर से भी मिलता चल तेरे को इंट्रोड्यूस कराता हूँ वेन चुक हैड्स विद यू नो जूम फाउंडर्स केम बैक एंड देन दिस होल एपिसोड हैपन लेटर दैट आई डिसाइडेड टू वाइंड इट अप एंड स्टफ देन आई कॉल दिस फ्रेंड अगेन बोले आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट समथिंग नेक्स्ट इन लाइफ बोले यार वी आर देयर इन बैंगलोर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सिटी एंड यू आर ऑलरेडी देयर इन पुणे पुणे वॉज एनी वेज नंबर टू ऑन आर टारगेट वाई डोंट यू कंसिडर दिस सो इट वॉज पीपल राइट फॉर मी You're so it goes back always to that relationship so people for me right i'm i'm i'm, I'm indebted to people uh, more than anything else right i mean it's it's, it's uh, so uh, forever right it, it has always been a people story for me right so they, it was this friend who said yaar i don't give this a try because see the thing is the funny thing is one of my masters is in transportation engineering but it does not help you when you're setting up operations for a car rental company on the ground and you're trying to get licenses and build operations on the ground it's a very realistic space right. whereas you know like the transportation engineering is a theoretical right so and then i was running an education company prior to that so somebody you know and even zoom founders they they believed ke chalo theek hai let's give somebody a chance on hardcore on the ground ops of somebody coming from a literally a failed education business so as to speak right and this friend of mine he was kind enough that he took that leap and i bet uh, it would have emanated from him right that you know let's have this person and stuff right what do you think were the characters that drew out to them about you is it that because you started up because you came from a background is it that they saw ki aajkal na do teen terms bahut popular ho gaye vikas bhai ek bahut popular ho gaya the power of hustle 
दूसरा बहुत पॉपुलर हो गया द एसेंस ऑफ जुगाड़ सो काफ़ी हद तक लोग बोलते हैं यार अगर आपने कुछ खुद किया हुआ है खुद कोशिश किया है खुद का कुछ बनाया हुआ है तो यार बंदा जुगाड़ तो देख लिया लाइफ में एक थॉट प्रोसेस विकास भाई होता है कि यार जुगाड़ ना इनहेरेंटली हम में एज इंडियंस है बचपन से कुछ ना कुछ में हम जुगाड़ ट्राई कर रहे हैं बचपन में कुछ ना कुछ हम इंटरेस्टिंग ट्राई कर रहे हैं दूसरा भाई होता है कि वॉट इज हसन ब्यूटीफुल आई लव इट ब्यूटी की हम बात कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पे ये एक तरीके से दिस ऑल्सो ब्लेसिंग राइट कि ये ये एडवांटेज आसानी से मिलता नहीं राइट सो दिस अ ब्यूटी अबाउट डूइंग एन एंटी सेट पॉडकास्ट और व्हाट आई ट्राई टू डू सो फॉर मी दीज आर माय यूएसपी मोमेंट्स इन अ लाइफ पोर्ट पर ये बताओ भाई इज इट दैट देयर वर एस्पेक्ट्स लाइक दिस दैट योर फ्रेंड और द फाउंडर्स कुड सी थ्रू और वुड यू गिव मे बी इंपॉर्टेंस टू सम अदर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कैरेक्टर ट्रेट्स व्हिच अगेन अ लॉट ऑफ आवर व्यूअर्स कैन ड्रॉ इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम और लर्न फ्रॉम सी आई बिलीव इन द आईडिया ऑफ balancing everything out and i cannot reiterate it enough right so for example hustle is extremely necessary hustle is extremely important but at the same time in a system everybody cannot hustle right so for example even in family right i mean so for example whether it is the mother or the father who is a bit more strict towards the kids they both are strict i mean then kids don't appreciate yeah, fir wo bachcha alag tarike se hi paida hoga bada hoga to ye so let's understand what is this hustle right so hustle is basically being ready for action at any given point of time you don't go back into your comfort zone and things like that i think a lot of this hustle is misconstrued right so for example when you watch an american tv show and you know you see that young american entrepreneur or the you know so called ceo and you know uh, you know that that a league what you call the a type personality and talking this and doing that and you know then And that whole idea of apprentice that telling somebody you know, you know you're fired and you know that so i think that way hustle is extremely misconstrued you can be very very poised and still you could be hustling for example i'm just taking a key and you can stop me whenever in your profession it does not matter that how much do you scream it's the validity of the point that matters more than you know how logic matter karta na bhai how loud loud your pitch chilla ke aap kya kar loge yaar correct okay kab tak hi chillaoge yaar so hustle is i think bias for action more than a bias for you know so Uh, that's where hustle is extremely important but at the same time what will happen is things can go in so many different directions so somebody has to you know put it to certain directions as well so it's a yin and yang which is required every which way right uh, in your experience you would have seen 10 different organizations where everybody is hustling when they don't go nowhere and at the same time organizations where everybody is in a comfort zone that does not uh, work either so the idea is being out of the comfort zone hustling but at the same time giving it a focused because without which nothing goes in a particular way right so you should strive for that 120% outcome right but at the same time it should not come at the cost of uh, what you call fluttering as i was saying earlier and stuff it can it can come in a lot more balanced way and then you need to allow that ecosystem where people can play different roles and people can play different you know so for example this happens a lot in creative pursuits right so if you see anybody who is an artistic uh you know role in a company for example somebody is just doing some graphics right i mean they need to come back to a perfect outcome right or, you know whatever they seem is perfect that comes out of five iterations 10 iterations 12 iterations or does it come in you know like two iterations and things like that does it come through an extreme planning process or does it come through a lot of iterative process because artists take very different approaches into that bilkul sahi baat both are hustles people have that you know strategic plan and this is how they come up to a particular outcome the other people do it with a lot of iterations that i'll do it 10 different times and one of them will become better than others right. so each of them is a hustle it's just that one is guided in a one way another one is guided in certain way both are different schools of working and finally you get to an outcome as long as you know in today's world digital world you need more output as well you need 10 creatives you need 10 creatives it's not that you can say that i have made one genius piece at the same time those 10 things have to be of a great quality it can achieved in so many different ways people need to find out what is their way people need to find out what is their organizations way right uh, we see companies which bring out one genius products it may succeed or it may fail they'll come bring out there are other companies which will bring out 10 products at the same time the easiest True. examples are you know automobile industry or electronics industry and you see different companies taking different approaches not that one is hustling less than same. the other one and so on different approaches same path both want market share both want a bigger you know value for shareholders and everything different approaches to zoom ke din mein aapko kya approaches lage the what did you implement in 
you know your pune days and then let's come back to or rather not come back let's come now after that from whatever you take out in the role of your kmp to how you started m caffeine with tarun so let's let's go into that a bit to say aapne us role mein kya dekha unhone aap mein kya dekha for you to lead a city what do you learn by building a vertical in a city and then from there when did you realize ki ab that calling that sulemani kira is back that we have to go across and do something on our own so let's take a bit of that nostalgia back in i think 2016 when we met so right 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 yeah. so see it was a hyper growth environment at zoom that time we from starting that one city ended up launching like six different states in that next year and and a beautiful system but then again you know this entrepreneurship is more like a niche you don't scratch because you want to it's just that you know you you have that urge you do that again i wanted to start that again um so i have a friend amit Uh, you also know him well yeah yeah he is the founder of boxit uh, he used to work with me uh, back in the us days and stuff and in fact amit and anshul i know them from very early days of boxit right and so he is a dear friend and he was in the know that i am planning to start again mm-hmm. and tarun was actually the head of business for boxit uh, he was actually their first employee right and uh, he was doing an amazing job over there so amit was in the know that he was planning to start and that time actually uh, it was tarun he ha- he had already put in some seeds on the ground and the idea was to build a chain of salons for uh, you know it was pep salons i remember it as pep salons pep salons and it was an oyo model for salons uh, but somehow you know uh, god has d- different plans for us and you know very early in the cycle we realized that you know there's no way we can reach up to like 1000 salons because it was a very difficult we had grossly underestimated the complexity of that problem and we shifted towards pivoted towards products and then that's how amp caffeine came by we were making some products for the salons and we pivoted and we made a new brand and then you know yeah to ek baat batao and this is again it makes me very nostalgic because i remember that pitch yeah. and i still remember that uh, you know and kabhi kabhi it is serendipity right i remember the usp of your pitch was that it's a single product in in this case it was coffee which was being emphasized as the backbone of creating multiple skin care products and i remember that for me there was one of the biggest usps i can't talk about the other judges in that panel but i gave a very large high mark on that usp and hamara dosti wahan se shuru hua and again i have individual relationships which at that point of time was there with tarun separately with you separately and of course cumulatively coincidentally when we started talking kafi kuch hua but if i have to go back to that mindset ki when you start something right it's also very easy to perhaps as founders who have seen certain things say ki are bahut easily you want to go through a path which perhaps shows more of tailwinds more of sector specific preferences us time pe consumer was very consumer centric d2c to c2c kuch bana nahi tha it was more broad based um कुछ मॉडल्स थे कुछ टाइप के बिजनेसेस थे जो एग्जांपल्स थे कि भाई अगर कंज्यूमर में करना है इस हिसाब से आप कर सकते हो कुछ हटके करने के लिए भाई व्हेन व्हेन एवरी टाइम समवन वांट्स टू हैव द गट्स टू से कि यार रादर देन टेकिंग दैट ट्राइड एंड टेस्टेड पाथ वे पर सक्सेस इज ईजियर एंड मोर अचीवेबल स्केल में बी लोअर वर्सेज द पाथ टू टेक विच इज अनचार्टर्ड वे यू डोंट नो वर द सक्सेस बट the north star might be much brighter take us through the mindset of two founders determining that and saying ki yaar perhaps is hisab se agar hum uncharted territory mein jayenge versus charted risk is high but reward is that much more high how do you calibrate and bring in that maturity to say that i will be able to take this risk basis xyz what is the mindset of a founder there so to be honest um thing to start anything right you need a little bit of that idiosity anyways i'll tell you why any business plan that you identify it will practically fail on all pragmatic parameters because the point is if this should have been done somebody would have done it in the past if it has taken more resources in the past how will be able to do it in lesser if if it has taken more time in the past how will you do it in lesser time now in that case it's only sheer your will that you want to do it you know faster and you know, with lesser resources and do something that has never existed so the seed of it will be idiotic 
you can't have too rational a seed for any pagalpandi I, 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 I will say idiotic i will say pagalpandi chahiye thoda sa thoda sa thoda sa wo zehen mein craziness chahiye to to ye to kaun kehta hai hamari kasak mein garmi nahi hai jo bhi sukoon tha so jala diya humne kya baat to wo to lagta hai right ultimately if you are trying to do something which does not exist so it has to come up so there has to be a little bit of you know non sensibility in that and you give it a try right to achieve that you try all the sensible means aapko right. uh, you you take that marketing gun you try to put it in you need to put in financial guard rails you need to have that operational structures and systems and everything but the underpinnings cannot be rational and sensible the underpinnings have to come from somewhere else right that's where the higher purpose comes in in some ways right what is it that you want to achieve this is my ambition why is it my ambition it can be for so many different reasons it can be my personal pursuit it can be some social reason it can be you know or it just the way some people are built right the dna the dna right so that will be there ab uske baad mein kuch cheeze work out karenge kuch cheeze nahi work out karenge jo nahi work out karenge you try to redo them or you try to do more things you try to do different things and you will come up to a path right so basically what is it that i'm trying to avoid and i think it might make the whole discussion a bit boring is you take the end point which somebody believes is successful or you call it an achievement and then you try to weave a back story that how everything was stitched perfectly and things like that that makes a glorious story so it's uh, never true but yeah i mean there is nothing called perfect stitching could be could be true for somebody but nahi ho sakta bhai at least mere experience mein to pichle 22 23 saal mein nahi dekha yaar maine basically you trace you trace the life back and you realize that you know there was a fork at every stage yeah. it just it it was either some good sense somewhere that prevailed it was some good people who guided you along one particular path or sheer serendipity that you went certain way and you finally came up to a particular outcome right in so many different universes you could have taken a different path landed up very differently it you could have failed miserably or you could have succeeded like anything else that does not mean that you have you know you like worthy of more credit or less credit than whatever you have done you are entitled to all the sweat that you have put in and the you know the balance that you have maintained in that entire journey right because you have carried everybody along right and uh, let me correct it it's not that you have carried everybody along people, people have carried, carried you right? correct your family that family has also carried you along that journey right very easy to say that you have carried your family it's other way around actually they are your life boat at the end of the day so if they are not poised or you know they are not you know happy or content with what is happening in terms of overall life or you know they don't support you they don't lift it will impact it will impact you have to edit quite a bit of it because it's okay don't worry about it bhai ek is par ek bahut sensitive point pe aate hain hum log jo i have seen a lot of times impact mindsets of founders kya hota na bhai when you reach a certain amount of success and success is very relative success is very personal very bespoke to individuals kuch logo ke liye shayad success ye hai ki yaar humne kuch bana liya कुछ लोगों के लिए सक्सेस आ रहा है हमने तो इतना कैपिटल रेस कर लिया या फिर इतने इतने सौ करोड़ हमारे कैपिटल के हिसाब से आ गए कुछ लोगों होगा कि हमने सक्सेसफुली एग्जिट कर लिया इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट राइट बट सारे एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ सक्सेस में भाई एक चीज़ जो आता है माइंडसेट में वो होता है कि कभी कभार द ऑपोजिट ऑफ एन इम्पोस्टर सिंड्रोम द गॉड सिंड्रोम ऑफ लेट अ लॉट ऑफ फाउंडर्स विद अ लिटल बिट ऑफ सक्सेस स्टार्ट सींग द एसेंस ऑफ ह्यूब्रेस उनको लगता है कि यार हम ही हमें बाकी सब में पानी कम है एंड एट टाइम्स दैट कैन ऑल्सो रिजल्ट इन पर हैप्स देर लार्जेस्ट रीजन ऑफ फॉल नाउ फॉर द सेक ऑफ अ लॉर्ड ऑफ आर व्यूअर्स हु मे बी टेस्टिंग दैट इनिशियल सक्सेस यू नो दैट फर्स्ट टर्म शीट दैट फर्स्ट चेक दैट फर्स्ट क्लोजर द फर्स्ट लार्ज अकाउंट द फर्स्ट लार्ज पार्टनरशिप अब कभी बार वो हो जाएगा कि यार अब तो लाइफ इज सॉर्टेड द डक्स आर फॉलोइंग इन अ रो थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू गो इजी एंड मे बी एट टाइम्स बिकॉज देर इज सो मच ऑफ ग्लैमर एंड पी आर अटैच टू सर्टन इवेंट्स इन अ फाउंडर्स लाइफ एस्पेशली विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फंड रेजिंग और एनी अदर स्पेसिफिक माइल स्टोन इवेंट्स ऑफ एक्विजिशन जॉइंट वेंचर्स बाय आउट जो भी हो देर आर सिस्टम्स विच पुश द फाउंडर्स आउट इन द फेस टू से यार यही है हाउ डज वन रिकेलिब्रेट एंड स्टे ग्राउंडेड in your experience how is hubris management potentially factor for a founder 
especially given a very beautiful point that you stated that bhai ye 40 saal ka marathon hai is pe bahut sare peaks aayenge bahut sare valleys aayenge peaks ke time pe pura duniya aapke sath wah wah kar raha hai aur valleys ke time pe aap akele ho in fact there is a lot of hypocrisy bhai kya hota hai i keep saying this hypocrisy ka ek thought process kabhi kabhi agar aise socho aap ki ek murde ne kya sikhaya hame ki ek murde ne kya sikhaya hame kaha ki ye log jo mere lash pe ro rahe hain ये लोग जो मेरे लाश पे रो रहे हैं ये लोग जो मेरे लाश पे रो रहे हैं अभी उठ जाओ तो जीने नहीं रहे जीने नहीं नो वेरी ट्रू सो भाई हाउ डू यू फैक्टर दिस ह्यूब्रिस मैनेजमेंट इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ पोजीशन बेस्ड हिपोक्रेसी सो एवरीबॉडी वुड हैव देयर ओन मैकेनिज्म आई लर्नड वन और एट लीस्ट आई ट्राइड वन मैकेनिज्म फॉर मायसेल्फ राइट एंड दिस अगेन कम्स फ्रॉम अनदर डियर फ्रेंड राइट सो यू कैन नेम हिम इफ यू वांट टू so there this uh, friend of mine don't want to name it he went through a lot in life you know lost some uh, family members lost his profession job all in a span of a month and That's then he had to rebuild had a young kid and you know he had to build everything brick by brick for a very long period of time he basically uh, took care of cows built goshalas then he went to villages you know and he's an iit graduate himself now he's building a big big farm so he taught me one thing that you know how do you how do you not have an urge to own so generally the fundamental tendency is that if i am around somewhere and that thing basically is so called successful or you know you have some sort of an achievement the first thing is to try and claim that this is achievement this belongs to me i belong to this success story and this success belongs to my endeavors and like how do you stay apart because the thing is if you have to if you want to claim the success then you'll have to own up to the uh, the the failures as well right bilkul the truth is have you done anything differently for any business of mine or any endeavor of mine that would have failed or that would have succeeded it succeeded i would have not done anything different i would have still woken up in the morning went to my work came back in the evening wound up my work slept it would have been no different whether that outcome went to a success or that outcome went to a failure right so wo jagjit singh ke gadal hai ke mujh mein jo kuch acha hai sab uska hai mera jitna charcha hai sab uska hai the other part is jitni baar main toota hu wo toota hai idhar udhar jo bikhar raha sab uska hai so neither the good is mine neither the bad is mine i am there i exist I only have one thing. As long as I have that honest motivation, I wake up in the morning, I get to whatever is it that I'm supposed to do. Then basically, it is then the life is beautiful because what is the fundamental pursuit that I am in? So, for example, God has been kind enough that it has allowed me to pursue something which was a fundamental calling. आपने जैसे DNA बोला, how many people are actually blessed to do something which actually suits their DNA? Correct. That is also a blessing, right? It's a huge blessing. So might as well take that blessing and take that blessing as a blessing, and then you keep doing what you are doing. What is the urge to claim, right? That this has to be, as you know, uh, attributed to me, or I have to be, you know, aligned or associated with something. Because you create a peak for yourself, you are automatically creating a valley for yourself, right? And those peaks are not perpetual. So how many peaks and valleys can you, you know, can you sustain over a period of time? finally we are all emotional beings you know there is a finite capacity to handle those emotional ups and downs and there's a finite shelf life bhai finite shelf life isme, absolutely isme you know it comes back to what i keep emphasizing a lot on bhai the power and the essence of dmu zindagi mein na agar aap dmu ka concept bahut pehle samajh lo and if you understand that beyond everything and beyond for everything rather beyond a point there is a diminishing margin in utility that will set in hai na bhai you then can start understanding ki bas beyond that whatever you do you're doing because you want to as against you have to usme zameen aasman ka farak hai but to understand that dmu you also need a lot of maturity in your journey of building m caffeine you have seen multiple stages both you and tarun i have been very fortunate to be with you on this journey from day 
you have seen one phase where there are several types of investors who have come in, different institution investors, large cap tables, large fundraisers. You have had a phase where company has been successful enough to get some of the best names as brand ambassadors. You have now seen another new phase of the company where there is a beautiful position of doing joint ventures and structures with very different stakeholders and creating different products as well. So the canvas keeps spreading by. Now in this canvas, if you take a step back as a founder, where do you think the essence of DMU can ever set in, number one? Number two, why should it ever set in, in terms of building? Because the other outlook and the other output is ki, ki chingari jo hai, wo jalte rahe, tabhi ja ke aapko pata chalta hai, dhoor tak ki kaha aapko dikh rahe, wo jal, ujala ho hai ki nahi. So you should keep that chingari constantly on, that fire in the belly has to constantly go on. But a beautiful concept, what you spoke about is also appreciating the power of being slow or getting slow or taking certain things in slow strides so that you can do it for a very long time. And that's where the mindset again comes by that we are making legacy or short term or medium to long term. Every person has a different thought process. We will also revise it. It's not just about being slow. You can still be faster. I agree. It's just that, you know, so how can we be more emotionally efficient while being faster? Let's go a little granular. So for example, uh, generally, so that's what I think this is exactly my biggest fear is when, when I talk about, uh, you know, focusing the hustle per se. My biggest fear is the fundamental assumption is going slow at it. I'm saying let's go faster. Mm. The only thing is, the amount of, so for example, anything that we need to do, it takes energy. So for example, if you have to run from here till that point of time, it takes a physical energy to get there. At the same time, when you are trying to do certain amount of things, it takes certain amount of mental energy, it takes certain amount of emotional energy. If you need to run 40 kilometers, you know that you cannot run it like a 100 meter sprint. At the same time, if you are trying to do a 40 kilometer metaphorically in a business or trying to build a team and stuff, you need to do it with a lot more equanimity, with your emotional self as well, with your mental self as well. You need to preserve that through and go. Ultimately, you need to do it 120% more. It's just that you don't have to, you know, do random things and waste your, you know, things like that. So, for example, uh, athletes don't look like bodybuilders yeah. because they don't build muscles which are not for a purpose. That's how, you know, if you see a swimmer, you can see by the shape of the body that the person is a swimmer. You see a runner, you can sense that it's a runner. You see a weightlifter, you sense that it's a weightlifter. And you see a bodybuilder, you see a bodybuilder. All of them are purpose built for that purpose. If you try and say that, you know what, we have a great athlete, he's a great sportsman person. He happens to be a bodybuilder and today we'll make him play table tennis. There's a lot of spent energy that is along the way. So if you want to play table tennis, let's play excellent table tennis. There's no need to build those, you know, powerful biceps. Should we have to lift, you know, uh, weight, let's not build those six pack apps because they are not necessary. So it is to that purpose. Finally, what will happen is, see again, you will have those ranges of emotions and stuff. You need to balance it out again. So people are again critical. So M-Caffeine, by the way, is a, is a beautiful story. So tell us a bit. Of so, so not just, a, so for example, it's not just about me and Tarun. So we also have these other partners, you know, Saurabh, Mohit, Vaishali, they have been with us since day one, right? And, and and I would say that everything is so close-knit and it has been a long while. I mean, it's, it's in startup parlance, it has been forever. And that also helps, right? So what happens is when somebody is going through a particular cycle and stuff, somebody else takes over and somebody else ambitions kick in and you know that that thing goes on forever. So it's a beautiful team story as well that way that, you know, people... Are so here also people play a huge role. Always. So basically there's nothing in my life which is without people. So maybe, you know, your show will get keep on getting more boring if I repeat the same thing. I think I think it's going to be more important because the emphasis what you're trying to do is to bring across the different relations that come into play in terms of people playing roles of lifeboats and people again in different forms. In this case, now you're talking about forms in terms of co-founders or forms in terms of partners in a business, which also has an equal amount of importance like you were talking about with respect to family a little while. Absolutely. So that comes in very, very handy, right? Because you have that level of trust, you have that level of faith, you sleep more peacefully. At the same time, basically, collectively, you try to achieve a lot more. What you could have do it otherwise individually, right? 
so you need to create those you need to create those spaces where people can thrive every which ways and you become a part of that thriving ecosystem per se as well so that's how it has to run and that is true for any ecosystem so did this change as a mindset over the stages of am kafeen you just now mentioned that is a beautiful story i have been a part of that beautiful right. story i i'm very protective about the story as you know as well right. so let's take a little bit of that story maybe 2 3 minutes of talking about that and right from the beginning till where you are now how much of mindset has evolved as a founder see basically it has been a very long time right we are talking about ab ho gaya 16 se leke 23 right 16 se leke 23 so it's been a significant amount of time and even in this people change right every 7 years there is a different human being altogether there is no similarity between a 7 year old kid and a 14 year old kid and there is no similarity between a 14 year old adolescent and a basically a 21 year old youth and there is no similarity between a 21 year old youth versus you know somebody is trying to set up a family at 28 and by 35 they are already engrossed that i have family you know maybe some kids as well the parents have started aging now have a different responsibility by 42 so every 7 years the you there is a completely different human being so in this journey we all started together and we all are a new human being all together in that process everybody evolves see we all evolve every day and in that life cycle so it is a so anybody who assumes that we will not evolve they are basically sai uh, baat you have to factor in that change right you can stagnation leads to death stagnation leads to death right so this has to be there this that growth has to be there we we learn every day we earn learn every day we grow every day we mature every day it's a collective process and ultimately agar aap soch ke dekho that is the endeavor right ultimately what is it for right this is for a particular purpose but that purpose is to live a life right that life we are living every day so the problem with that destination mindset is ki ek bar to kahin pahunchenge kidhar but the, jaise aap bol rahe the na choti choti cheezon these are the thing right so even the small wins matter the most so this day is also granted by somebody yeah. right ki aaj ka din hai we can sit here and talk yes. so that we are blessed with that day the day has that. come from somebody absolutely. might as well take that day right absolutely so so that in that journey keeps emphasizing different aspects bhai ab thoda sa aur hum micro jayenge on things which can directly factor immediate learnings for some founder friends of ours hai na alag alag type ke investors ek insaan ke cap table mein stages ke hisab se aate hain uske experiences bhi bahut alag hote hain early stage ka mindset bahut alag hota hai mid level ka bahut alag hota hai thoda sa late stage growth ka thoda alag hota hai but throughout this by one of the things that i keep emphasizing on and i have seen founders recognizing this much more of late especially with relationships that i have with founders the intangible capital matters much more than the tangible capital check bahut log likh sakte hain aapke dhande ke upar business plan ke upar success ke upar but for a founder what should matter is not just the check but beyond the check that is why intangible capital comes in so bhai for you someone who's seen multiple fundraisers someone who's been through different mindsets of investors different types of investors take us through tangible versus intangible take us through how important is it for founders to understand the value of intangible capital and what are those types of intangible capitals that some of our viewers should know if they are in that journey of trying to find out who's the right fit for them provided they have options because everything at the end of the i keep saying bhai mahol matters माहौल में अगर एक ऑप्शन है और एक महीने का यू नो रनवे है जिंदगी बहुत अलग है लेकिन अगर आपके पास भगवान भरोसे कुछ महीनों का रनवे है कुछ दो तीन ऑप्शन है कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट माइंड सेट होता है भाई सो टेक अस अ बिट थ्रू द माइंड सेट ऑफ सिलेक्टिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग टेंजेबल वर्सेज इन टेंजेबल एंड हाउ डज अ फाउंडर गो थ्रू दैट जर्नी सो वन ऑफ द मेजर डिसीजन इज यू नो हाउ डू यू गो एल अबाउट सिलेक्टिंग पार्टनर्स राइट एंड I'm talking about investors and things like that. If you have a choice, if you have a choice, and that's why I said Mahal matters. Why? So, just because there's choice, nia, that's a different story. Different story. But if you have a choice, what do you index upon? Uh, and the first thing that I've seen is that the first thing that comes to my our minds because most of us have very very mathematical brains, right? When people right. come to this side of the world, the first thing is, "Arey, yar, wo log kaisa valuation dete hain?" Or basically, you know, beautiful point, beautiful point that you're talking about. Then basically, the next stage comes when people start asking, "Ki yar, wo." वैल्यूएशन कैसे देते हैं टर्म्स कैसे देते हैं देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेज कम्स वेर 
you talk to people ke yaar how because you know that when you talk about valuation it's about what valuation you get today when you talk about terms then it's a question of basically what will happen at the end of it you know how will you go through and in the third stage you start talking about how are those people as partners because jab bhi aap business banaoge there will be ups downs there will be all sorts of things there will be a lot of noise in the market right for example somebody will just come up with let's say some new technology and say yaar aap bhi waisa technology ka nahi replicate karte yeah. correct or basically something else you know some somebody's business go, goes down in some particular domain then why are you trying that domain this will happen right there is a lot of noise that will happen how is basically a particular fund how are they as partners how do they go along in the journey and different times and these are different stages right of this thing the only thing that people uh, that can shorten is and and uh, uh, let me basically i put a little little bit of ball in your courts as well right uh, how many times you would have seen bad term sheets where only the valuation is good but the term sheet is bad and the early stage you know a lot of people picking bad terms just because of a better valuation and things and stuff and then you realize that then yaar ek minute ruko sun lo samajh lo i think it's a cycle and i think for that matter i would also admit this that the younger entrepreneurs today uh, they are a lot more smarter than let's say what the entrepreneurs 10 years back were or you know uh, and because the ecosystem has completely evolved there's a lot of transparency uh, you know founders never used to talk to founders 10 years back now there is a lot of interaction between founders um, talking about term sheets was unimaginable today you know founders sit down and they talk about terms are yaar ye kya term hota hai you know what does it mean what are the implications they actually talk about fund fund journeys because interestingly funds also uh, you know despite you know funds also have different philosophies yeah. ignore the good and bad yeah. there are different expectations Bilkul because sewa. funds also have systems right so without judging that this is good or that is bad at least you understand what is their philosophy what do they want out of their money because everybody invests with a purpose right somebody who invests in a stock market saying that i'm you know putting this money for 5 years versus somebody who says that i'm just doing a day trading they are two different people both of them want to make a profit the objectives are very different so then you understand the objective then you understand the purpose um, i think it is happening more and more and i think it is happening at more and more earlier stage than what you used to have in before and uh, i think that's how it should be so i think entrepreneurs tomorrow will be way more sensible in the way they make choices and stuff and i think that will also shape a lot of this investment ecosystem as well so one of the most beautiful things that has happened in the uh, investor ecosystem is a lot of operators they have actually gone into the other side right otherwise there was no perspective into that i mean uh, you know actually both things have happened both things have both things a lot of lot of operators have gone into the investor side lot of investors have also become entrepreneurs to a great extent so there's a lot of equal mindset that is shifting but why let's understand the essence of intangible according to you therefore do cheez isme se ubhar ke aa raha hai one what you're talking about of course is soft diligence which nowadays has started happening from founders perspective more importantly a lot of good investors themselves say ki bhai you go and talk to my founders here are the founders go talk to them understand understand our philosophy understand our thought process understand how we operate because end of the day bhai it is third party capital end of the day they are managing somebody else's capital and a founder needs to go across and recognize that as well hai na but soft diligence chhod ke because usme kafi kuch hoga intangible elements kya hote hain is it the fitrat is it the doors that the investors will open is it the connects that the investors will bring in is it that mindset of saying ki yaar you can have that shoulder to rant in irrespective of the valleys that are you are facing or is it at times just to say ki yaar kuch nahi hota sab theek ho jayega let's figure out because lot of times in a founder's journey bhai situations will be jab wo chahiye ki yaar we'll figure it out saath milke kar lenge what are intangible capitals according to you See, it's so. This question is almost like that dating joke, right? When you ask a girl that, "What do you look for in a guy?" and the first thing she says is sense of humor, right? But the truth is, everybody is seeking something else, right? There are people who want that the investor should only invest the money and then basically forget about it, and we should only talk about on commercial terms. There are people who want the investors to work very closely with them and participate along the way. If it is a sales-oriented business, open doors. If it is basically a, a an ops-heavy kind of business, they want the investors because they have a bigger ecosystem to bring those things some people want that some people want exactly opposite of that that you know don't we don't that. want any intervention 
so everybody will have different expectations and i think uh, what i would try to rather emphasize is everybody should have different expectations some people should ask for that you know if you come in can you help us build better systems and integrate that through at the same time there are other people who want that hand of approach they should say that you know, we actually want people where the whole approach is hands off and you know because that's our operating style and stuff should you have the ability to choose and stuff so it's very important to know what is your expectation from them because there are all sorts of people and each of them are they are right in their own regard right they have their own operating style they have their own op- see that's how it happens that's how investors also pick companies right so for example even in the same space when they have decided we'll invest in this space there will be three different types of companies or four different type of companies these are the com- companies which are more operation heavy this is they are trying to build the business more tech heavy they are trying to build the business more media heavy or they are trying to build the business more mna heavy right and like a completely inorganic strategy while everybody might be selling the same products to the so the consumer facing might be same but the back end approach might be completely different somebody says that i am going to build the next generation of app all together somebody else is saying that i'm going to acquire so many small pieces Same so way. the way investor picks right uh, so one thing and this is i think a joke because we are also aging right so this also the ageist comes, so we the ageist are, in us so basically so this also comes from the fact that we assume that the entrepreneurs will have very limited choice the truth is with the investor ecosystem increasing the entrepreneurs will also have much more choices as we go along in future so then if they understand themselves better that this is what i want to play like they can actually you know seek better partners for themselves right abhi tak ulta tha right ecosystem itna chhota tha sahi baat and uh, god willing what seems to be like a huge ecosystem from 2013 standpoint you know 2033 mein this should look minuscule and it should be a much bigger uh, kind of a thing so to bhai iske sath ek सेकेंड फैसेट में आता है जो इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट है नॉन ऑन्टरप्रनर्स लाइफ और ए फाउंडर्स लाइफ आज एम कफीन में हम कितने लोग हो गए अबाउट थ्री फिफ्टी तीन सौ पचास जब अपन मिले थे कितने लोग थे चार पांच लोग पांच पांच छह लोग अब जर्नी फ्रॉम फाइव टू थ्री फिफ्टी ऑल्सो मैन दैट हायरिंग एंड द राइट टाइप ऑफ हायरिंग इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज उसी से आपका नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ टीम बैठता है एल वन एल टू एल थ्री उसी से आपका नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ लीडरशिप बैठता है अब बहुत आसान है लोगों को कहने के लिए भाई कि हायर स्मार्टर देन यू हायर ब्राइटर देन यू हायर हंगरियर देन यू हायर चैंपियंस लेकिन यार जो फाउंडर का शिद्दत है वो फाउंडर का शिद्दत है जो फाउंडर का जुनून है वो फाउंडर का जुनून जो फाउंडर का पागलपन दिया फाउंडर का पागलपन दिया आई पर्सनली बिलीव भाई the closest to successful replacement of founder mindset that you can get to in your l1s l2s is if the passion is somewhat similar if the madness is somewhat similar on certain sp- aspects they might be smarter than you but overall if their intelligence is somewhat closer hai na bhai my question therefore to you to advise a lot of our viewers that when you look at hiring अगर हम ये सब ब्यूटीफुल जो कहावत जो फ्लोट करता रहता है इसको हटा के प्रैक्टिकलिटी में आए वॉट आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ हायरिंग द राइट पीपल नंबर वन वेर डू यू सी द ग्रीन स्टोन टू से ये दीज आर एब्सोल्यूट टिक्स इन द बॉक्सेज एंड वी शुड गो अक्रॉस एंड हैव दैट इज इट द डी एन ए इज इट द फैब्रिक इज इट दैट एंड टू एंड विजन इज इट होलिस्टिकली अ पैकेज ऑफ मल्टीपल थिंग्स एंड पैरलि भाई वॉट आर द रेड फ्लैग्स तो से कि यार ये बंदा शायद या बंदी शायद बहुत ज़्यादा रेज्यूमे के हिसाब से बोलो स्टोरी के हिसाब से बोलो पैकेज के हिसाब से बोलो दे लुक अमेजिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एवरीथिंग बट कहीं ना कहीं एक बहुत बड़ा रेड फ्लैग है तो इ रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द पैकेज ऑफ हाउ दे आर लुकिंग एट प्रेजेंटिंग वी विल नॉट गो क्रॉस एंड टेक दिस पर्सन ऑन आर रोल्स बिकॉज ऑफ रॉन्ग हायर कैन क्रिएट होता है शीशे के दरार शीशे के दरार मिटते नहीं है भाई तो यू डोंट वॉन्ट दैट कल्चरल दरार कमिंग इन बिकॉज ऑफ रॉन्ग हायर्स so to deep dive and go a little granular bhai take us through your journey of and i know you spend a lot of time in hiring tarun spends a lot of time in hiring both of you have, you know emphasized a lot of times publicly also that hiring is extremely important in any founder's life so bhai how does the hiring mindset evolve what are the things that you have looked at as a founder what are the things that you think are an absolute go versus an absolute no go right so uh 
the most important thing that i feel is the diversity should be there there's no what do you call team which does not have a variety of people so obviously there is a sandbox in which you want everybody you don't want people out of the sandbox diversity of gender diversity of character diversity of mindset or combination of everything basically everything right you need different kinds of people so for example this is um, this for example gender diversity and so these are very what you call uh, factual and very very objective this should they be there but even more than that there should be diversity of personalities there should be diversity of work cultures and so on now for example uh, in a startup ecosystem the fundamental requirement is one of the strict guardrails is people should be okay with working outside their comfort zone which i define as hustle as the important hustle of sort you get out of your comfort zone you should be able to do things because startup mein aapke paas utna bada ecosystem nahi hoga a large company can give you so many resources ways and stuff so that is basically hustle you just need to structure that uh, hustle put it together define comfort zone a bit more go a little more granular is it only time is it only vertical is it beyond all of that what is what is comfort zone according to you what is basically a startup a startup is an entity which cannot shield you from uncertainties right so the quantum of uncertainties in startup is way 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 beyond than an established system per se that's the fundamental definition of a startup i don't because frankly speaking even at our size and stuff there are established companies of this size right but we still call ourselves a startup which we are at the same time there are there are companies which would have slightly fewer people but it's a it's an industry and it's it's a it's a, it's a business it's an established business hum abhi bhi humne aapko startup hi bola tha bhai at uh, vertices we are still a startup which is the perfect way right and because i call it the david syndrome so i'll explain to you what a david syndrome is okay. i call it a david so, syndrome but go ahead so little bit of pity for your people as well because they are handling the uncertainty bilkul but because uh, we are cre- creating the certainty correct <laughs> and uh, so that's the part of it so the level of uncertainty that comes in with the startup and part of that uncertainty is because your ambitions are somewhere else right, right? it's not that you want to stabilize here you want to achieve something else and again the path to that will you know bring in a lot of uncertainty so people will have to deal with that and a lot of people great people you know great knowledgeable structured systematic people they are not tuned to handling uncertainty they thrive in an ecosystem that if they are given certainty they can achieve way bigger and this is nothing about good bad or whatever it just that they, they need that stable structure they need a stable structure and maybe they can do much better bigger jobs than some of these other people who actually thrive in that unstructured system and they can deal with those uncertainties and things that happen uh, along the way in our case that is absolutely critical and there has to be an ability to hustle through it which is basically deal with that uh, uncertainty right then basically people need to figure out a way how to coexist okay now in this pursuit and that that's what you call the culture fit of sorts right so culture fit is not about you know your uh how do you behave or how do you party or you know how do you gel it's basically how do you adapt to other people in the system along with you how much stay, space do you need from them how much space do you give them how do you gel along how do you work along because what will happen is in this fast growing ecosystem these definitions of teams and what roles and what task people have to do it's a part of that uncertainty right that also will keep us alone so not only people will have to what you call reorganize themselves mentally and you know the challenges that come up from over a period of time it will also be different people you have to coordinate with different entities Same structure way. different entities most often than not you will actually be working with a lot more inexperienced folks because that's what a startup is true right fundamentally we are building things for the first time how do you work with them how do you build them across right how do you allow somebody else to build you up so that those are the very very critical guardrails So by the way Tarun does spend a lot of time on on hiring and and he is very very uh, meticulous about uh, you know putting effort and time on on onto some of those things and what are the red flags very difficult to judge people that way is right so i'll tell you some of the things that any instance bhai jahan pe aisa hua ki yaar laga ki yaar top hai right aur kuch aisa situation hai aisa sign aaya jahan pe bola irrespective of being top hamare system mein nahi fit hoga so people who cannot challenge the system are a big red flag for the startup where you know people say yes to everything 
So you don't want yes men around you. You don't want uh, yes men around. You want people to go across and sit, stand up and say, "Shayad, ye galat hai." Is tarikh se bhi ho sakta hai. Correct. At the same time, you want people that you know. Uh, how do you how do you calibrate that where the person does not overstep the boundary? So very difficult, right? It's basically it's a, it's a sixth sense that you develop after talking to so many people and you have your mental benchmarking. So it's it's a little bit of both ways. You want that you know that people. Sh- you should be able to challenge those people people should not have that you know my way or the highway kind of a thing at the same time they should be able to say and come up and tell you that are vikas ya yeah, sahi nahi soch rahe ho let me tell you a better way why don't we think along these lines right so that also is a stakeholder mindset it's a stakeholder mindset so you want people who are stakeholder that's an absolute necessity overall bahut zaruri hai bahut zaruri to aapko ek instance batata hu as to why i say that dna and fabric matters the most hai na Our journey has been similar. You've seen us literally from the time when we were four, five people, to where now we have grown to about eighty odd people. You've seen us from that four hundred fifty square foot office to where today Vertices is three offices, including a beautiful office in your beautiful city of Bangalore, as or Bangalore as a whichever way you nowadays you all refer to it. Beach, man, why? When everyone was going through the situation of COVID, right? God's been kind with us. God's been kind with us because. nobody in the ecosystem of vertices faced a personal loss that itself i think was a very big uh, essence of gratitude everything else though is secondary because sab kuch aap fir se rebuild kar sakte ho that you can't right but as we were growing during that point of time i remember very clearly bahut sare log aise aa rahe the different types of conversation karne ke liye and different people wanting to join i still remember one very interesting episode that had happened so there was this one uh, partner from a law firm and i don't want to take names but uh, young partner he approached saying that he is very inclined to join us he had a book let's take the example just for example six ki bhai uske paas 3 crore ka book tha matlab bhai if i join the platform ye 3 ka main 10 crore bana sakta hu aap logo ne yaar kuch dhang ka machaya hua hai kuch kar rahe ho aap log so kuch interesting ho sakta hai to hum सोच रहे थे समझ रहे थे अब बातों बातों में ही वॉज आस्किंग कि भाई फॉर्म का स्ट्रक्चर क्या है उस टाइम पे हम थे करीब अराउंड चालीस पैंतालीस पचास लोग तो जब ब्रेकअप हुआ उस ब्रेकअप में पता चला कि भाई अबाउट चालीस लोगों के बीच में पकड़ लो आप कि तीस ऑर्ड होगा लॉयर्स दस ऑर्ड होगा नॉन लॉयर्स है ना तो उसका पहला क्वेश्चन था वाई टेन तो हमने बोला कि भाई कुछ ऑफिस बॉयज है कुछ स्टाफ है कुछ एडमिन है कुछ अकाउंट्स है कुछ ये है फ्रंट डेस्क है तो यार इन सबको फायर कर दो अच्छा क्यों भाई तो बोला कि यार आपका ऑफिस अभी खुल नहीं रहा है सब कोई ऑफिस बंद है वर्क फ्रॉम होम है लॉकडाउन लौक, है ये है कोई जरूरत ही नहीं है क्या करोगे अब ऑफिस बॉय फ्रंट डेज फलाना निमकाना लेके फायर देम एंड इट सेव्स यू एंड स्टेट ऑफ इम्पैक्ट द बॉटम लाइन सो मेरे को ना बहुत हंसी आई उसमें इंटरनली कि मुझे लगा कि अगर मुझे कभी उस हिसाब से बॉटम लाइन के हिसाब से इम्पैक्ट करना है so i would not deduct 50000 rupees from metse or partner this ke liye that really wouldn't matter because it's spittens but his view is to say ki yaar wo 15 20000 18000 25000 wala jo office staff hai usko aap fire kar lo jiske shayad us 20000 rupees mein char log panch logo ka family chal raha hai so our internal core jab hamara co-founders ka meeting hua so we were smiling about this where we said ki is bande ka agar 30 crore ka bhi book hota na bhai so we would not take that person so we with heart jor ke humne bola we are not good enough for you so that cannot happen why i say this bhai is it goes back to the dna it goes back to fa- fabric it goes back to essence of that culture that fitment ki agar wo aapka galat ho gaya तो धीरे धीरे सारे जगह पे ना आपके दरारे शुरू हो जाएंगे एंड यू नेवर बी एबल टू क्रिएट एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू नेवर टू क्रिएट एन इंस्टीट्यूशन सो फॉर मी डीएनए मैटर्स अ लॉट आई रिमेंबर हैविंग दिस कन्वर्सेशन विद यू ड्यूरिंग कोविड एंड यू नो आई वाज वेरी हेजिटेंट इन शेयरिंग विद यू दैट वी आर नॉट फायरिंग अ सिंगल पर्सन एवरीबडी इज इन देयर यू नो विद एंड देन यू शेयर नहीं नहीं हम लोग भी किसी को फायर हम लाइक चलो ठीक है दैट्स अ बेटर वर्ल्ड दैट्स अ बेटर वर्ल्ड बिकॉज अगर काटना है तो खुद के पेट काटेंगे ना एक सेकंड। स्पाइडर। क्रोज़ वेरी स्मार्ट। वेरी स्मार्ट। वेरी स्मार्ट। 
कान के पास से फिल्टर करके जाते हैं वेरी स्मार्ट सर्वाइवल इंस्टिट्यूट बहुत हाई है उनका हां बुक रेडी हैट ऑफ दैट फर्स्ट एंटरप्रेन्योर दैट यू हैव नाउ कमिंग टू अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक व्हेन यू लुक एट and we've seen we've seen several instances where it's very easy for founders to believe after a point of time especially when you're in the news that you have arrived today a lot of people may say you have arrived right because there's some fantastic news about you about the company when i say you i mean the company to say ki yaar बहुत अच्छे काम कर रहे हैं बहुत अच्छे प्रोडक्ट्स हैं पीपल लव द प्रोडक्ट्स आई हियर सो मच ऑफ प्रेज अबाउट द प्रोडक्ट्स इट्स पर हैज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट वेल सॉट ऑफ द गिफ्ट पैक्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स आई हैव यूज्ड इट पर्सनली अर्चना यूज द अंडर पैक दैट यू नो दैट जेल थिंग सो वी आर वेरी 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 वॉसिफरस अबाउट पीपल वी लव है ना भाई सो नाउ टेल मी वेन वन गोज थ्रू फाइव सिक्स राउंड ऑफ कैपिटल रेज When was goes through having the ability to get an Alia Bhatt as a brand ambassador. When one goes through and does a joint venture and launches a hyphen with a Kriti Sanon. It's very easy mindset where सोचने के लिए you guys have arrived. अब क्या यार अब तो बना दिया यार हमने अब now we are we हम ही हमें बाकी सब में पारी काम है. It is very difficult to think and factor in कि यार अभी तो we have scratched the surface. अभी तो कुछ भी नहीं किया. There's so much to do. There's so much to build. There's so much to go across and create. Again, all of these that I ask, boy, is to get into the mindset, है ना? So again, for the sake of our viewers, boy, what is the question? The question is, how do you calibrate between achievements and yet saying that these achievements are nothing but the beginning because the journey is far away to reach? How how are you feeling right now? If I had to ask you one on one. आज विकास को फील कैसा आ रहा है विद वेर यू हैव रीच्ड एंड हाउ डू यू स्टिल कीप दैट माइंड सेट ऑफ अराइव्ड अवे एंड से कि डेस्टिनेशन अभी बहुत दूर है आई टेल यू एन ओल्ड स्टोरी आई थिंक इट वाज ईयर 2000 और 2001, राइट सो वेंट टू अ कॉन्फ्रेंस दैट टाइम दिस वाज यूएस नहीं दिस वाज इंडिया आई वाज स्टिल इन आई ओके So went to ha ah, 2001 of course of course you just so uh, so i went to a conference in that conference there was this uh, baba ji sitting in this you know saffron robes and stuff white hair and all and sitting in a corner and fir dekha to a bunch of young people sitting with that baba ji and that was very unusual kind of a sight man dekha kya chal raha hai to dekha to baba ji was speaking in like fluent english okay so this is like a little bit of amusement right because you don't see those kind of correct at least that time it was a rarity okay. that time was a rarity corporate baba ji had not come in yet so i went there and sat down to do char log hum baithe rahe to ek bar baba ji ne fir his unhone ek kissa sunana chalu kiya the kissa was like this so there was this guy and he had committed everything wrong in the world that it somebody is supposed to commit तो ही डाइड सो ही डाइड तो ही वेंट अब स्वर्ग में जाएगा या नर्क में जाएगा तो गया तो वेरी लैंडेड इट वॉज अ कंप्लीट एम टी स्पेस गया दिस नथिंग दिस एन एम टी स्पेस सो दैट गाय थिंग्स यार एम टी स्पेस है कम से कम बैठने के लिए चेयर तो होती राइट सडनली अच्छे अर अपेयर्स इट सिट्स ऑन दैट चेयर देन ही थिंग्स यार ये चेयर तो मतलब इज लाइक टू हार्ड टू स्टेफ इसकी जगह एक कंफर्टेबल चेयर ही देता चेयर टर्न कंफर्टेबल चेयर ही होता तो सोफा ही होता इट टर्न इन टू अ सोफा बोले जब मैं सोफे पे बैठा हूँ तो सामने एक टेबल हो जाती सडनली द टेबल अपियर्ड मतलब टेबल ही है तो खाने के लिए कुछ आ जाता तो सडनली अ सैंडविच अपियर्ड बोले आप सैंडविच क्यों यार मतलब इट वट आई बीन बेटर वट एवर बेटर के हूँ फिर यार अभी तो देन ही स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट कि वाई डोंट हैव वाइन सडनली वाइन की Then he said, "Yeah, wine. Why? I could have had scotch. Suddenly, the scotch came. Then suddenly, basically, the guy starts thinking about bigger and bigger vices, and everything that thinks about getting fulfilled. So he says, 'Yeah, I must have done something really good in life.' Because this is the swarg. Whatever I think comes true. 
I, this cannot be the nark or right. the hell that you know uh, that I imagined. And then he's thinking about the next vice and the next vice and the next vice that is it's getting fulfilled. And after all this, then he realizes five minutes have passed. What do I do next? Because whatever I think is fulfilled at that very next instance. Right. After 10 minutes, the guy went crazy. That how will I spend the rest of my remaining life in that place? Because everything that I imagine is fulfilled now. Then he says, Ki narak to hai. So, that whole arrived thing of, you know, if you don't have anything next to do and it is already there, to narak to hai. Beautiful. So, Beautiful. you have to plan something which cannot be fulfilled instantly. So, you need to place your ambition high enough. For example, should we have an ambition right now, okay, pizza aja, you click some apps and stuff, pizza will arrive in 10 minutes, right? 20 minutes. But because it can come in 20 minutes, not even an achievement, then suddenly you'll say, okay, re, vinayak bhai, chalo, apan ek kaam karenge, we'll go all the way to Italy and get a pizza over there. You're creating an ambition to, how to, to get out of that trap. So you need to define the goals like that, so that it can, you know, make your life meaningful. What is the definition and the moral of that story is anything where it is so easily attainable that their life has no purpose is basically hell. So then you pick your goals accordingly so that in that journey you have that meaningful struggle or basically that pursuit is worthwhile and hence that journey as well, right? So that's how you keep making the next ambition while your pursuit is worthwhile. It's very, very deep. Hai. It's extremely deep, bhai, and the depth if people can understand to say that it's a constant shifting goal and a constant shifting goal post ki jitna aap shift kar pao utna aap sane rahoge utna aap grounded rahoge because ambition has to be also of a fact to say that you start realizing because of the power of your ambition that you are nothing but a blip in the spectrum of your possibilities to bahut 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 it's not easy, bhai. It's not easy for people to understand the value of uh, the next level and the value of saying that where you have arrived is perhaps the reason for you to stay grounded and the reason for you to stay humble. I'll give an example, bhai. Aap ye socho, matlab, kitne log ye kar paenge, jo main kar raho. Right. I mean, it's an amazing thing that you're doing. Right. For me, there are two ways of looking at this, bhai. Right. Ek bhai socho ki yaar, I have arrived. ठीक ठाक लॉ फॉर्म बना रही है ठीक ठाक काम कर रहे पीपल नो मी इन दीपल नो द फर्म बाई गॉड्स ग्रेस पीपल नो माई पार्टनर्स यू नो आई हैव बिल्ट अ वेरी डिसेंट टीम सो आई मेस अरे आप तो आई हैव अराइव एंड आई कैन डू वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू और आई कैन बी ग्रेटफुल टू से दैट आई हैव जस्ट मैनेज टू डू थिंग्स राइट दैट इट हैज गिवन मी दैट लिटल एक्स्ट्रा बैंड विथ टू बी एबल टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस टू बी एबल टू स्पेंड टाइम ऑन समथिंग विच इज माई पैशन to be able to give back to the ecosystem in a particular manner so it's very easy to not you know calibrate your mindset and say hum hi hum hai baki sab mein pani hai mm-hmm. kam hai but it's very difficult to say yaar hum jo hai na wo hum isliye because of the fabric around you mm-hmm. as you emphasize so many times because of people around you mm-hmm. it's very difficult otherwise mm-hmm. tell me to take this beautiful conversation forward you are in a business which is a consumer business you are in a business which build, you know thrives in the power of brand building i have seen a lot of people bhai in this business where along with the power of brand building somewhere it also blurs the line between the brand of the organization versus brand of the individual and you have yet remained so conveniently recluse you have always been behind the camera how do you as vikas as vikas individual and this is a question completely for you bhai how do you maintain your sanity where it's so easy to get pushed into limelight it is so easy to get pushed into spotlight it is so easy to get uh, you know we are part of a business and an industry where people just thrive on glamour how do you maintain your sanity i ask you why you. before you answer this because i want to build a derivative from here bhai the derivative is aaj ke date mein bhai kya ho raha hai na lot of people 
आर मूविंग इन टू ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट कि शायद वो सुलेमानी कीड़ा अंदर है कुछ उखाड़ने के लिए कुछ बनाने के लिए बट ऑल्सो पर हैव बिकॉज ऑफ द फैक्ट कि वो दे आर एनामर्ड एंड अट्रैक्टेड बाई द ग्लैमर कि भाई ऑन्टरप्रनर बन गया मतलब ग्लैमर आ जाएगा कि भाई कहीं पी आर मिल जाएगा कहीं कोई मैगजीन में आ जाएंगे कोई डॉक टॉक हो जाएगा बट रियालिटी ये है भाई कि दिस इज द लोनलीस्ट जर्नी पॉसिबल इट इज़ अ जर्नी विच कैन ब्रेक यू इट इज़ अ जर्नी विच कैन शैटर यू इट इज़ अ जर्नी विच मेंटली कैन कम्प्लीटली ट्रामाटाइज यू सो इट्स सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू मेंटेन सैनिटी दे फॉर वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू टेक एज अ डेरेवेटिव इज हाउ डज विकास मेंटेन इज सैनिटी एंड वॉट दे फोर शुड बी द एडवाइस दैट यू हैव टू आर व्यूअर्स टू एनश्योर दैट दैट ग्लैमर शुड नॉट बी द रीजन फॉर ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप तो विनायक भाई दर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन ग्लैमर ओके दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सेज द मैन हु away from glamour so basically you need all sorts of people right so for example there is a particular role that glamour plays it basically evokes a lot of people it creates a lot of awareness and it also creates a dream and desire in a lot of people as well aapko uska bhi zarurat hai if everybody becomes boring and drab who's going to go and inspire other people to be you know come up and try a few things but going to this point bhai is it therefore valid inspiration to say that that glamour is the inspiration or should it be that that sustainable true growth is inspiration what is inspiration see basically it's a discovery right so you would remember when we were teenagers so i think there was this indian army ad which used to say do you have it do you have it in you ab aap ad dekhoge any ad is glamour right but finally to jab india mein jaake kasrat karta hai aadmi to normal people you know can't even go through that for like bilkul you know right. let alone you know that whole path but it's okay right i mean even people who are doing it for let's say glamour or glory or doing it in a glamorous way i think even that is a service to the system so even that is a great service to the society overall and please also understand that people will have different motivations people will have different north stars and at the same time they also fulfill something in the system right imagine if everybody was boring and drab and everything right how do you tell people ki nahi nah, this is a beautiful life to live in as well right so sab kuch hona chahiye in every which way sab ka apna pursuit hoga see for example um, let's say that classical challenge right somebody says ki nahi nah, nah, lawyer ka purpose to hona chahiye to basically you know have like a completely right. social angle to it and stuff and you are completely on the corporate sab kuch chahiye na aisa thodi hai ki कॉर्पोरेट साइड में नहीं होगा तो बेसिकली द वर्ल्ड विल रन दैट इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड दिस इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड दैट इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड थोड़ा थोड़ा सब होना चाहिए एवरीबडी विल हैव अ परस्यूट द ओनली थिंग आई बिलीव इज यू शुड नॉट हैव अ परस्यूट जस्ट बिकॉज यू नो समबडी एल्स इज लुक्स नाइस हैविंग देयर्स राइट आप अपना परस्यूट पकड़ो लेट दैम परस्यू देर ओन एंड इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल वर्ल्ड दैट इज ब्यूटिफुल इसको ना मैं लिंक करूँगा एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ जो आज के डेट पे हैज has been spoken about several times vikas bhai in different contexts bahut sara positive bhi hai uske bare mein bahut sara negative bhi hai uske bare mein hamare darsho ke liye i think it's going to be very important because as they grow they un- will understand the value of this concept and the concept is called fomo ab ye fomo jo hai na bahut sundar cheez bhi hai aur bahut hi ugly bhi hai at the same time stages of your life mein उस फोमो का किरदार भी अलग अलग होता रहता है सो भाई इफ वन हैज टू आस्क विकास एज नाउ अ सीजन ऑन्टरप्रनर हु हैज सीन पीक्स वैलीज हु हैज सीन फेलियर्स सक्सेसेस हु हैज सीन रिकग्निशन एंड एज वेल एज सीन द पावर ऑफ बीइंग इन सॉलिट्यूड इफ आई मे से सो व्हाट इज योर डेफिनेशन ऑफ फोमो एंड वॉट इज योर एडवाइस टू अवर व्यूअर्स ऑन फोमो मैनेजमेंट सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट that uh, the whole struggle between your ego your ambition and fear right now this fomo is a very funny class of fear right it basically goes and challenges your ambition per se because it almost seems like that your ambition is being stolen away or you know you're being deprived of that ambition right to so, चलिए छोड़िए अलग तरीके से बता दो कभी तो सुनो सुनो ठीक बिकॉज मैंने नेक्स्ट एंगल होने वाला था ये कि बहुत कम लोगों को पता है कि एक कवि भी जुड़े हुए विकास भाई साहब के लाइफ में सो थोड़ा सा वो उम्दा तरीके से आप बाहर निकालिए इसको 
तो चलिए पानी पीते पीते ही सुना देते हैं इट हैज़ बीन अ रेरिटी दैट वेज बिकॉज आई एम तो बट एनी वेज सुनाता हूँ नो पॉइंट से आई एम नॉट दैट गुड ओ प्लीज मतलब देखो हमने बहुत बार बहुत बार हम बैठक में बैठे हुए तो ये ना आप किसी और को सुनाइए हमें ना सुनाइए तो आपको बट यहाँ पे एक कवि और एक शायर बैठे हुए अपने अपने किरदारों के हिसाब से सो बताइए इट्स द ट्राइव बिटवीन द फियर एम्बिशन एंड ईगो राइट राइट सो basically in your ambition the biggest challenge is that fear right for example fomo is that fear of missing out so aapka ambition hi chota ho gaya because of that fear or reverse you know the fear of losing out then you basically affect your thing at the same time what does fear worry about fear worries about the lack of ego aapka ego nahi hai to fir koi fear hi nahi bachega right at the same time if you have no ego you will not have a so you need All these three, so it's the interplay between the three. जिंदगी के तीन गरम मसाले तीन गरम मसाले तो वो मेरा डर है राइट right? तो वो मेरा डर है अब इसमें सब चीजें इंपॉर्टेंट है मेरा है वो भी इंपॉर्टेंट है डर है वो भी इंपॉर्टेंट है और वो मेरा है तो मैं एग्जिस्ट करता हूं तभी है तो वो मेरा डर है मुझ में रहता है क्या बात है? मैं कुछ ना बोलूं उससे तो उस पल ही मुझसे कहता है कहता है तुम कौन नहीं यू हैव एन आइडेंटिटी राइट आप विनायक बर्मन है राइट वर्टाइसिस है यू हैव एन आइडेंटिटी कहता है तुम कौन नहीं ये भीड़ कभी भी मौन नहीं कोई हलचल अब गौड़ नहीं गौड़ इज ट्रिवियल या ट्रिवियल कहता है तुम कौन नहीं ये भीड़ कभी भी मौन नहीं कोई हलचल अब गौड़ नहीं पूरा ही पूरा सब हो थोड़ा आधा पौन नहीं वो मेरा डर है क्या बात है यू वॉन्ट एवरी थिंग इन इट्स एंटायरिटी एंड यू वॉन्ट इट ऑल इट्स अ फियर राइट एंड इट्स 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 अ कन्वर्सेशन बिटवीन द थ्री एंड आई एम टॉकिंग टू द फियर एट द सेम टाइम तो मेरा डर मुझसे कहता है कहता है तुम्हें सुनना होगा वाह कहता है तुम्हें सुनना होगा चुनना होगा चलना होगा मेरा डर मुझसे कहता है कहता है तुम्हें सुनना होगा चुनना होगा चलना होगा सुन के चलना तो चुनना क्या और चुन के चलना तो सुनना क्या वो मेरा डर है ब्यूटीफुल मैं कहता हूं अपने डर से तुझसे समझौता कर लेता हूं तू अपनी चल मैं अपनी चलता हूं तेरी सुन लेता हूं अपनी चुन लेता हूं ब्यूटिफुल अपनी है जो राह अगर है मतलब वी आर ऑल वन यू आर विद इन मी अपनी है जो राह अगर है मैं कहता हूँ वो सुन लेता है मैं कहता हूँ वो सुन लेता है इसी बीच में वक्त कहीं से अपनी कुछ धुन लेता है <laughs> वो मेरा डर है बहुत बहुत उमदा मैं कहता हूँ वो सुन लेता है इसी बीच में वक्त कहीं से अपनी कुछ धुन लेता है वो मेरा डर है तो फाइनली द फियर ऑल्सो यू नो लर्नस टू डील विथ यू right with your existence with your ego and your ambitions and finally dar bolta hai ki kaga hum tum saath chalenge kaga is the crow right kaga hum tum saath chalenge tum bharna pankh hum aankh rakhenge you fly you have your ambition but i'll keep you in check right kaga hum tum saath chalenge tum bharna pankh hum aankh rakhenge खोना दे तू मैं को वो मेरा डर है सो द ओनली फियर दैट फियर हैज इज द डे यू लूज योर ईगो देन यू विल हैव नो फियर सो द फियर विल लूज इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस तो कागा हम तुम साथ चलेंगे तुम भरना पंख हम आंख रखेंगे खोना दे तू मैं को वो मेरा डर है ब्यूटिफुल सो लॉर्ड ऑफ इट इज अबाउट मेंटल कैलिब्रेशन सो इट्स इट्स द इट्स जस्ट द what you call inner pursuit right you want to keep everything in check uh, as we talked about right to aap bahut sare acche discussion bhi leke aaye for example if you believe that you you have arrived then how do you go on to the next ambition i personally believe that if you don't have the next ambition you are anyways in hell you have to so it's not by your cho- choice or it not by your greed that you need to have your next ambition you just need that to survive to not be in hell and to be in the realistic world 
and why realistic world and not in heaven because you don't want such a big ambition that that is never fulfilled right and this is where some of the great people you know they do that they pursue something for like 50 years and that's i think at least i am a mere mortal i don't have such a pure pursuit as well and then basically you also talked about that you know that you know some people want that visibility and glamour and i think it is required because otherwise how do you what do you do it for right and then there is this you know managing self right how do you preserve that sanity how do you preserve that balance so sab kuch hai thoda 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 and also it's very bespoke bhai because sab ke liye na it's very um, it's a, it's very um, very pers- very very personal very relative it's very it's very unique to that individual and that one of the things ha sorry aap batao then the same thing i mean it should be unique right that's how you all people are like i'll tell you the other thing jo aaj ke zamane mein bahut log underestimate kar rahe hain bhai and you know at times when i see when i see folks like you mujhe bahut acha lagta hai because kabhi kabhi wo ek thought hai jo is is this in this constant race jahan hum and i keep saying this bhai in this journey na we have started becoming hamsters in our own treadmill हम खुद ही अपने ट्रेडमिल में भागे जा रहे हैं और स्पीड डायल सिर्फ एक ही तरफ से बढ़ता जा रहा है फास्ट 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 एक ऐसा दिन आएगा कि आपको सडनली रियलाइज होगा कि इतना वक्त गुजर गया एंड यू नॉट स्टेप बैक एंड थॉट अबाउट व्हाट दोज ब्यूटीफुल मोमेंट्स वर इन लाइफ वॉट दो अचीवमेंट्स वर वॉट दो स्मॉल विक्ट्रीज वर एंड टाइम इज गॉन आपने बहुत सुंदर चीज इनिशियली बोला था अबाउट फाइनाइट टाइम सो द पावर ऑफ ऑल्सो गोइंग स्लो in terms of not work but slow in terms of appreciation to take a step back to appreciate everything to have gratitude across everything one of the things that i keep trying to drive as my message bhai to a lot of uh, people and not just at our age because i believe now we can play the age card because <laughs> uh, once you cross that you know that 42 43 ka threshold you have somewhere perhaps seen a little bit of life to a lot of these young people in their late 20s early 30s I'm 24 by the way ha ha mentally bhai i am mentally <laughs> waiting bhai mentally they have not even matlab reached <laughs> adulthood so <laughs> so for me na bhai it's very important for people to understand ki yaar bahut waqt hai thoda slow ho thoda aaram se karo thoda enjoy what is around you because one fine day you'll all get over and then you'll realize ki yaar लाइफ बोट जो था ना वही निकल गया बिकॉज यू डि नॉट वैल्यू द लाइफ बोट यू डि नॉट वैल्यू द पीपल इन द लाइफ बोट तो भाई इसके साथ ना इट कम्स टू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सेगमेंट एंड दैट सेगमेंट इज अबाउट द वैल्यू ऑफ हैविंग द राइट पीपल अराउंड यू द राइट एडवाइजर्स अराउंड यू द राइट कोहॉट अराउंड यू सो इसके दो तीन दो तीन एस्पेक्ट्स है भाई विच वील गो इन टू वन वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाइफ बोट फॉर विकास दैट्स नंबर वन नंबर टू भाई एज अ फाउंडर वॉट इज योर व्यू ऑन हैविंग द राइट सेट ऑफ पीपल अराउंड यू द राइट सेट ऑफ एडवाइजर्स अराउंड यू द राइट सेट ऑफ इनर सर्कल अराउंड यू द राइट कोहॉट अराउंड यू द थर्ड बिट विच आई आई एम्फोसाइज एंड स्पीक अबाउट ऑल्सो एंड आई मीन वेरी ऑनेस्ट क्यू मैं बात करता हूँ इसको लेकर बिकॉज आई बिलीव काफी सारे हमारे दर्शक आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी दो यंग प्रोफेशनल सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स that young lawyer that young chartered accountant that young investment banker that young investor and analyst who are all trying to build their relations who are all trying to create their you know nuances around people so what do they do to create that clientele relationship where the client no more remains a client where a transactional relationship becomes where we are what we are today because या फैमिली भाई मतलब ऐसे सिचुएशंस हुए हैं जहाँ पे हम रात के दो बजे बीच को विदा एजेंडा बात की बिकॉज वी नीडेड टू टॉक राइट सो फॉर मी ना आई वांट टू आल्सो गिव बैक टू देम टू से दैट शायद ये देख के भी कुछ सीखने को मिले कि एक एडवाइजर एक भाई कब बनता है एक क्लाइंट एक भाई कब बनता है एक ट्रांजेक्शन रिलेशनशिप एक जिंदगी भर का रिश्ता और दोस्ती कब बनता है सो so, थोड़ा सा इसके बारे में बात कीजिए भाई हाउ ऑल ऑफ दीज एस्पेक्ट वॉट इज योर लाइफ बोट what is your view about inner circle people right advisors right cohort and how we became where we are today i think i think i think uh, we just coming back to where we started the conversation today right uh, 
मेरे लिए तो पर्सनली इट इज ऑलवेज बीन पीपल राइट मोर देन एनीथिंग एल्स यू आर यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रिम योर सेल्फ टू साइज यू कॉल अप योर यू नो सर्टन फ्रेंड्स एंड दिल ट्रिम योर टू साइज विदाउट एनी हेजिटेशन एंड दिल यू नो शो यू द राइट मेटर यू वॉन्ट अ लिटल बिट ऑफ वट यू कॉल अ लिटल बिट ऑफ बम्प अप इन लाइफ एंड यू नो यू नीड दैट इनविजिबल दैट डोंट मरी यार खड़े तेरे पीछे डोंट मरी दैट्स द पीपल and these days there is a unique problem where uh, you know mind goes into an overdrive and you are overthinking but you are not standing against anything it's your mind that correct you know, it's a person in the mirror so you just need some people to tell you you know and and sometimes people need to be what do you call that clear and clearer you know like a hostile conversation ki kya kar rahe ho right and you know so ultimately it comes down to that you need to have that list of people but i think you also owe a service to people right and this is one thing i try very seriously so i obviously have a long list of you know people and stuff but anybody that i see him as was in some sort of i should not say trouble but some some sort of issues whether it is related to anything i make sure that at least i have a list of four five people that i call every week even if it is for 5 minutes even if it is 10 minutes uh, without even agenda or anything or talking about the issue itself but i make sure that i call and i think that's the biggest investment i've made in my life it, it would not cost me more than like what 50 minutes if i have to be you know boasting about how much time i put in it every week but i think uh, that has been the biggest return for me your moat your life's moat absolutely because i want the same that you know if there are if people sense that oh he needs some support or he needs some time then basically there should be some people who would be waiting to call me rather than you know me trying to call somebody and stuff agar utna ho jaye to then uh, i'll be through right the next best thing is when i call and they should pick up and say ki acha hua tune phone kiya but the first, the best thing will be when they call ki yaar wo sense nahi lag raha tha something is off but anyways batao aaj sunday kaisa hai So that's fine. We'll see. Okay, and go with the rest of the questions that I asked you. So basically, in the, I think for keeper name, let me say, be you know, you diminish the size of people. I think their role has been very, very critical. And obviously, your parents and family and wife is around, so they are the most obvious pillars that you see around. But I think there are innumerable friends, and I think I'll be doing a disservice by naming a few because there have been a lot yes, of people yes. and. Uh, I have way more to thank than anything else, right? Uh, way too much that I have got from people, and I think uh, all the gratitude for it, right? And this is like a very personal circle per se. You have basically one thing or be pushy about, you know, these professional advisors and stuff, right? So I see this one challenge with a lot of people that obviously you hire a professional advisor or advisors and. instead of solving any problem for them it actually creates a double problem for them because one they are dealing with the problem now sec- they are actually second guessing the advisor itself so one whether the advisor is qualified or enough or not second whether they have the right intent to advise you or not or basically they have the right focus on you or not and stuff mujhe lagta hai ki early now you should also invest in your advisors you know ki when the time comes at least all this second guessing about their capabilities intents focus relationship all that is solved and you know when the time comes on that issue then it is there for ex- i'll give you a simplest example you go to a dentist mm. dentist aapko bola ki yaar wo root canal kara lo mm. if you don't trust the dentist fir aap bologe ki yaar wo root canal abhi karana hai kya agar abhi thoda sa filling kar dete to nahi ho jata kya let me take a second opinion wo x ray left side se tha right side se bhi ek bar kara lo kya now in that second guessing you will be dealing with that tooth ache for the next 3 days build a rapport with the dentist na aapko pata hi hai ki aapko lagega dentist life mein so when you know you go for your regular cleaning or if not you should go then build a rapport with the dentist care jab zarurat padegi then i need that fair advice ki yaar wo filling karna hai ki root canal karna hai ki teeth nikalna hai so that you are not guessing the second guessing the person that time aur aisa nahi hai ki aapko opportunities nahi milte you have enough opportunities along the way regular cleaning hota hi hai na you convert it into a ca you convert it into a lawyer you convert it into a doctor or whatever there are enough regular cleanings during which you can uh, build a repo so that when it comes to root canal you can simply trust right 
बोले तकलीफ होगा देखो दाँत भी मैं ही निकालूंगा बट मैं बोल रहा हूँ ये करना है कर लेते हैं राइट बिकॉज इन द एंड एटलीस्ट फॉर द टेम्परेरी थिंग इज गिविंग यू पेन राइट वाइल पुलिंग द टूथ आउट बट आप पहले वो क्लीनिंग के टाइम पे रेपो बना लोगे तो बाद में पेन नहीं होगा राइट वेरी क्रिटिकल वेरी क्रिटिकल इनिशियली तो बेसिकली यू डील विथ एनी एडवाइजर विथ लिटल बिट ऑफ सरकम स्केप्टिसिज्म राइट कि सही लोग हैं कि नहीं हैं बहुत पैसा तो नहीं मांगेंगे अच्छा अपने पैसे में काम काम करने के लिए तैयार हो गए तो केपेबल भी हैं कि नहीं है नहीं दिस इज़ ट्रू फॉर एनी एडवाइजर दैट यू गो थ्रू डजन मैटर वॉट फिर अच्छा अगर बेसिकली लोग भी अच्छे हैं कम पैसे में मान भी गए हैं हमारे पास तो पैसा भी नहीं था वैन वी स्टार्टेड दट रिलेशनशिप हाँ मतलब प्यार था हमारा बट हाँ पैसे तो ये सही प्यार भी एक्चुअली धीरे 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 आई थिंक इट वॉज जस्ट योर इंटेंट क्या चलो काम करते हैं हाँ बिकॉज ऑल्सो बिकॉज एज ए सैड यू नो आई सॉ यू गाइज अ वेरी अर्ली स्टेज सो मेरे एक था थाट तो उस केस में आप बोले अच्छा अगर लोग भी अच्छे हैं पैसे भी नहीं तो अटेंशन देंगे क्या या फोकस मिलेगा क्या सो ऑल दोज थिंग्स हैपन इन दैट फर्स्ट साइकिल राइट एंड देन बेसिकली मूव अक्रॉस देन बेसिकली अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स स्पेशली यू आर इन अ रोल वेर देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ नेगोशिएशन विद अदर पार्टीज एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट एंड यू नो यू हैव यू कैरी योर ओन परसोना इन टू थिंग्स एंड स्टाफ एंड यू नो एंड ये भी होता है यार अपन परसोना मैनेज भी कर पाएंगे कि नहीं कर पाएंगे एंड देन पता नहीं क्या परसोना बट ठीक है नहीं इट हैपन्स राइट सो इंटरेस्टिंगली एवरी लॉयर कैरीज दैट ओन परसोना राइट एंड दिस अप्लाइज टू द टीम एज वेल दैट हाउ डू यू कैरी अक्रॉस हाउ डू यू नेगोशिएट हाउ डू यू पुट इट अक्रॉस एंड स्टफ यू नो वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू सिंपली ब्लाइंडली लिसन टू एंड आई थिंक वी एव रीज अ लेवल दैट यू नो वेर आई एम परफेक्टली फाइन यू टेलिंग मी इन द कॉल के विकास आपने बोल दिया एडमिट कर लिया बट Take it back because I am telling you take it back. We'll come back on this point later, and I'm perfectly fine with it today. But it takes time to understand that uh, you let your advisor at those levels where they are able to shut you off rather than you know uh, other way around and things like that. कि मैंने call ले लिया आप तो basically right. So that kind of a thing. So I think ये सब जगह relationships में आपको evolve करना ही पड़ता है. And जितने भी trusted partners हो. द सिंपलेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आप अपनी फैमिली में देख लो ऑल ऑफ अस हैव यू नो एजिंग पेरेंट्स एंड अंकल्स एंड आंटीज वी डील विद डॉक्टर्स ऑन अ डेली बेसिस एंड उसमें कितना सेकेंड गेसिंग और कितना परस्यूड और नन दैन फाइनली यू गो टू दैट वन यू नो क्लोज फैमिली डॉक्टर के यार वो डॉक्टर सही बोल रहा है कि नहीं बोल रहा है दैट्स अ एवरी डे अकरेंस इन आर लाइफ आप इसको जहाँ पे एंड इसमें तो आपको पता नहीं ना यू कैन नेवर गेस दैट यू विल नीड अ यू नो स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर ए और स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर बी और स्पेशलिस्ट डॉक्टर सी बट इन अ बिजनेस तो आपको पता ही है यू विल नीड अकाउंटेंट्स यू विल नीड लॉयर्स यू विल नीड फाइनेंशियल यू नो एनलिस्ट यू विल नीड बैंकर्स यू विल नीड दिस थिंग माइट इज वेल बिल्ड द ट्रेपर विद दैम एंड इट इज नॉट अ फेवर टू दैम इट्स अ फेवर टू यू राइट And when I say repo, I'm not talking about anything transactional. You build the trust as well. Bro, how does it happen? How does it happen? Today, we are sitting here. It is not normal. If it is normal, then everyone does it. Right? What are the USPs that you can factor in to say that yes, this is how a relationship evolves to becoming brothers more than clients or service providers or service recipients? Does it take to go through pain together? Does it take to go through transition of stages and evolution of sizes together? Does it take those joys and celebrations of those highs and lows together? क्या होता है? Can't pinpoint. I think I'm uh, short of words on this particular thing. I think, I think there are th- some things which are best left to time and good intents, right? अगर आपका intents है ये and then you basically keep filtering intents on the other side because सीधी सी बात है you start everything with being circumspect. आर यू इन द राइट प्लेस आर यू इन द राइट हॉस्पिटल आर यू विद द राइट डॉक्टर एंड एवरी थिंग एंड धीरे धीरे आपका ट्रस्ट बढ़ता जाता है राइट एंड देन यू शुड लेट द टाइम टेक केयर ऑफ थिंग्स राइट एंड देन बिकॉज यू डील विद पीपल ऑन अ डेली बेसिस राइट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई डोंट थिंक आई हैव अ वेरी ग्लोरियस सिस्टमेटिक मकैनिज्म ऑन यू नो हाउ टू बिल्ड रिलेशनशिप्स और हाउ टू इवॉल्व रिलेशनशिप्स पर से आई थिंक देर इज सम ब्यूटी इन टाइम विच टेक केयर ऑफ थिंग एंड एस लॉन्ग एज यू हैव अ consistent pursuit right ki acha ye hai ye karna hai ye ho raha hai and then you become transparent and then you say that do people have the best interest of yours in mind capability hai aur intent hai right utna hi hai agar dono hai to then basically it's fine ab bas ek point of time ke baad it moves into friendship na right? it moves into a call where correct bahut aisa situation hai ki now your team and my team work synonymously together but 
कुछ ऐसे सिचुएशन है जहाँ पे हम आके बात करते हैं वी आर लाइक एज अ फ्रेंड आई एडवाइज और एज अ फ्रेंड यू लिसन टू मे से दिस इज इनफ तो मैटर ऑफ ट्रस्ट भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है अब बोल के किसी से फ्रेंडशिप तो नहीं कर सकते राइट इम्पॉसिबल आप केवल बोल के मुझे इससे कुछ रिलेशनशिप बनानी है मुझे रेपो बनानी है यू कैन डू दैट नेवर कैन है इट्स अ प्रोसेस राइट इट्स अ प्रोसेस इट्स अ प्रोसेस ऑफ एंड आई थिंक मोर देन अ प्रोसेस भाई It's also the fortitude of going through cycles of journeys and emotions too. Oh, absolutely. Because that creates a bond which is unbreakable. Because we have seen so much of highs together, we have seen so much of lows together. We have celebrated all aspects in that moment. Yeah, yeah. Time without what you call emotional ups and downs is imperceptible, right? The only definition of time is you know how many emotions you can recall along the way. बिल्कुल सही. So this is beautiful, bhai, and uh, this brings us to the last segment okay. of the life show, life boat, where we have, uh, you know, where we have a very interesting set of questions called the life boat shots, which the team has prepared. Ah, uh, iska again, I don't have to say this in that manner because khasiyat hai ki aapne sab kuch jo hai, wo dil se hi baat kiya hai. So ye bhi ab dil se baat bolo because ye thora sa rapid fire type hai. Okay. So don't think too much. Okay. Answer it. It should be fun. So let's hear your uh, perspective of a few of these things. It's more entertaining. So I'll ask you with your permission. Ha ha. ठीक है भाई. So question number one. If you could travel anywhere right now, कहाँ जाते? We are exactly where I would have wanted to be in this garden. Yeah. Ha ha. You can hear the parrots, right? I can. I could hear multiple birds throughout our session, bhai. What's the most adventurous thing that you've ever done? So, I once used to work for Archaeological Survey of India as a consultant. So it was like an India Jana Jones kind of a thing. So documented a temple complex which was previously undocumented. Yeah. Can you name it? So it was the Gokul Chan Temple in the outskirts of Bishnupur uh, in Bakura district in West Bengal. West Bengal. So it's an old laterite temple complex. Pretty much, lot of it was broken. The main garb area was intact, and then there was this bog mandir which was broken. There was a nut mandir which had standing arches, but lot of this thing. So yeah. If you could instantly master one skill, what would it be? Oh, I want to sing, and I don't think that upper wala is janam ma kuch karne wala uske liye. But chalo yar koi nahi kavi to bana liya apko. What's a hobby that you've always wanted to try? So I want to learn different scripts and languages. Okay. What's the most used app on your phone? Would be, I think, obviously WhatsApp would be number one because that's the main okay. communication channel. But I think Twitter. Twitter. What's the last thing you do before going to bed? Why? Breathe, as in like sensible breathing, for like two, three, four minutes. Circadian rhythm training. So more like you know, um, clearing your head. I would not call it meditation because that seems very higher order kind of a thing, but just breathe for like two minutes to clean up the head. What is the first thing that you do after waking up in the morning? I walk up to the sun and say thanks every day. Gratitude is very important. I I every day wake up and I say thanks for few reasons. One of them being that my limbs are intact, my heart is intact, I'm breathing, I've seen the morning. That itself is a large journey. Yaar. If you could have a conversation with any fictional character, who would it be? Conversation with a fictional character. Fictional, so no, I can tell you a real person for sure. I mean, I want to talk to Galif for once for sure. Yeah. वो तो फिर अलग लेवल का ही कॉन्वर्सेशन होता है गालिब गालिब जी के साथ. If you could have any super power for one day. What would it be? Oh, super power for one day. That's a difficult question. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Give an easy answer. क्या हो सकता है यार? Team is not supposed to participate in this side of the camera. They are good on that side of the camera. ये आपको ही answer देना पड़ेगा. And I've heard some very interesting uh, answers across the people who have. You know, been in the episodes. So, one power to see that you know that that. What I say? Let's go ahead. 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 Let
चलो सोच ले वापस आएंगे छोड़ नहीं रहा एस्टिक्स है वॉट इज योर गो टू कम्फर्ट फूड ओ कम्फर्ट फूड मिल्क ब्रेड एंड मिल्क क्या बात डुबो के डुबो के यार कभी वो ट्राई किया है बचपन में हम लोग करते थे हमारे एरिया में तो होता था मलाई ब्रेड ब्रेड हल्का सा मलाई थोड़ा सा चीनी उसके वो मैं अभी भी कर लेता हूँ तो मलाई नहीं होती तो आजकल तो यू हैव दोमोजनाइज मिल्क सो यू तो दूध ये मिल्क ब्रेड बटर सम शुगर सो यू कैन स्टिल कैच मी इन द किचन एट नाइट डूइंग वॉट इज द वियर्डेस्ट फूड दैट यू हैवर ट्राइड आई ट्राइड फ्रॉग लेग्स इट्स रबरी ऑलमोस्ट लाइक चिकन बट थोड़ा रबरी है आई डेंट फाइंड इट वेरी अपीजिंग वॉट इज द बेस्ट पीस ऑफ एडवाइस दैट यू हैवर रिसीव्ड so for example this uh, detachment advice was very powerful it was uh, don't try to own or you basically ascribe to or uh, have that entitlement per se ke theek hai acha hai to theek hai mera nahi hai bura hai to bhi mera utna hi nahi hoga jitna sahi baat now we'll go back to the question superpower if you had the chance of having one superpower for one day what fly would you karenge yaar flying in through the airports is very difficult these days <laughs> <laughs> Last question, yeah. because I'll hold you to it. Yeah. For season two of Lifeboat, who would you recommend? Because you have to invite the person for me. अरे इसको लेके आइए ना तरुण कोई? आह तरुण तो भाई है. अब third party के हिसाब से सोचो. So, अच्छा other uh, somebody else. I think you should also try this format where you get. Uh, people at two spectrums get the same session and you get somebody who's like 50 55 and get two three people who are like 20 25 and uh, get them to talk about the same thing oh round table format pe aap chale gaye hum karenge filhal we'll stick to the question like the name of the person yeah jo jo aap mere liye invite karoge so the onus will be on you vikas bhai someone who you would want to hear in a setup like this conversation like this you could get amod malviya from udan that's uh, one fellow then uh, you could get gaurav munjal from infolion uh, you could get uh, some of the younger chaps like sanchit malik from pascare uh, then you could get uh, you know these folks from zetworks they are doing some amazing business bahut badhiya ek naam batao jisko aap invite karoge hamare bhi aap you should get vishal from uh, zetworks okay perfect so that brings us bhai to the end of this segment thank you so much bahut bahut acha tha bahut bahut hi umda tha bahut sundar ghar main daawat dene ke liye bahut bahut shukriya it's a beautiful evening uh, i have to thank you i have to thank rashi i have to thank the entire family for hosting me and inviting me and tolerating me on a sunday afternoon which has now turned to a sunday evening but most importantly i think i'm very grateful for the relationship that we have I'm very grateful for the fact that uh, we be- we become brothers over a point of time. काम होता रहता है, transactions होते रहेंगे, teams you know काम करते रहेंगे, grow हम होते रहेंगे. But what is priceless is the fact that this moment, in a way, is a lifeboat moment, and hopefully the learnings from this episode is going to be a lifeboat for several people who are trying to build at different stages. So before I sign off, there's one little thing that you have to do. there's a beautiful message that you have to send across which basically is um, going to go to the lifeboat cupboard which is there back in bombay or mumbai with messages from lovely people who have been in this episode and hopefully this will have its own value as as this grows as this becomes larger as this becomes broader and wider but something that you feel it with respect to what i'm doing hopefully this will grow so give your thoughts write this down but before you write this down tell us how you felt about it tell us what do you think about this do you think this is going to add a lot of value to the ecosystem what's been your take on this so no this is this is an amazing thing and i think um, so my biggest dread in any of these things is when you know when when things are you know just oriented over simple facts that you could glean out of uh, you know financial sheets and things like those i think this is a this was a beautiful heart to heart chat on you know very very 
subjective kind of things which otherwise you can't glean from uh, excel nobody prepares their what you call emotional excel yeah. per se I and mean, i think this is the only way to uh, and this is a beautiful format as well and i think uh, we have the god's grace and that they have given us this time and stuff right so we just sitting under a tree and you know chatting about this thing so yeah it's beautiful that way chalo ped ke niche baithe sahi hai ab baat kar rahe hain thank you please चलो पेड़ के नीचे बैठे ब्यूटीफुल थैंक यू विकास भाई अरे इट्स बीन अ लॉनर माय इट्स बीन अ प्लेजर एंड थैंक यू फॉर होस्टिंग मी थैंक यू फॉर थैंक यू फॉर कंसीडरिंग मी फॉर दिस सो क्या बात कर थैंक यू एसोसिएशन एंड पीपल Hi. Thank you. Hi. This is Vinayak Burman. I hope aapko utna hi maza aaya is episode ko dekhne ke liye jitna mujhe aaya isko banane mein. And if you think this adds value to your life, if you think this will teach you something, if you think this will help you to learn and create something in your lives, then go across and like, subscribe, share and comment. It will mean the whole world to me and my friends. If you don't have time to watch the entire podcast, then do subscribe to Vinayak Burman Clips and Vinayak Burman Shots, where we take out the most relevant extracts, the most important extracts of those podcasts, of those stories, of those moments for you and for your benefit, so that you can try and understand the gist of the whole conversation and yet take a lot of learning home. Till we see you next time. Signing off, Vinayak Burman. <laughs>